So last time on Dungeons and Dragons, um, actually last last time on Dungeons and Dragons, you guys got out of the um, Brock, the Kingdom of Brock, um, where Chris had just you guys defeated the um, Shadow Monster. Um, Ivo died a glorious death, and then um, no one cared and just took someone took a little piece of his stuff, not, nothing much. And um, sort of like spat on him and like kicked him off into the, into the darkness. And then um, you guys, right. you guys um, got the circular object that you remembered would fit into the third uh, uh, teleporter. And you walked back um, into the uh, that hill room. This is like the fourth time you guys have been at the top of that. <laughs> anyway. Um, once you got in there, you went over to the uh, to the teleporter, put the object in where you thought it should go. It activated the teleporter, and the teleporter opened just like the other two. But what uh, came out and started flooding in the room was water, ocean water. And in a matters of minutes, um, uh, the room was filled all the way up um, with and uh, Coming in from the sea was a piece of wood that had two barbarians on it. Um, the barbarian that came in was Drake. Um, and uh, Mike, what was your guy's name? Teverit. Teverit. I got to write that. Teverit. And um, <laughs> you guys kind of familiarized yourself with, with Drake. Drake introduced you to Teverit, and then the room um, filled up. Aranus and Plaskin got swept away uh, further down the hill into the water, into the murky depths. Um, and then you guys decided to put on your water breathing apparatuses and go out into the ocean. Um, once you left the teleportation room, it turned out that the, it turned out what? It, tur it turned out that the um, teleportation device was under the, under the ocean. You don't really know where where exactly. You guys fought a bunch of sharks. Um, every time a shark would die, it would chum, chum the water with, with blood and more sharks would come. So you eventually decided that perhaps you should leave. Um, uh, uh, that was our uh, smart move. Sp yeah, Sprock, had, Sprock turned into a fish. Sprock turned into a shark, which was the first time he turned into something besides a bear, which was cool. Then uh, you guys- That's not found, true. I was a leopard. Also a seagull. And, and an eagle. Mm -hmm. Jaguar. The jaguar guys, was the first one, because that was when he jumped over that bridge, when we found out that he was a fucking druid. His you movie star killed, ending. You guys killed one large shark, and the other sharks decided to eat that shark. And that was when you guys made your great escape. Um, and climbed up or, or swam towards... Actually, one of you got on Sprock and swam towards the ship. Um, the other Lone ones... Lone Star did. The other ones kind of swam and climbed up the... Uh, I believe the... Um, the anchor um, up to the ship. The ship turned out to be... Uh, there. There's no sign of a crew there. Um, further investigations may need to be made. Um, but there's no sign of a crew. What was on deck was um, uh, some gelatinous uh, cubes and uh, some harpies. And when you guys got up to the to the deck, it turned out that the harpies would sing a song and attract you to it and try to get you trapped in that gelatinous blob that would um, that slowly digest you. After def getting your way through there and blasting with thunder wave and all that crap that you guys usually do. Um, you eventually clear the ship. The ship um, did have a couple people on board that were hiding. Um, Sprock turns invisible. That's where Sprock was left. Uh, Tre Tre Teverit and uh, Lone Star and Drake um, all looked over the left and saw a massive mountain poke its head out of the out of the water just arrive out of the water and uh came over to the ship it looks like the mountain rock from never ending story and he had a headache and he wanted help to figure out what was going inside of his head um Teverit and drake and lone star got off the ship swam over to the mountain 
um, and decided to go inside of the ear of the mountain head to figure out what the hell was causing this guy some problem. Drake was, um, Drake went in <coughs> first, Lone Star, well, actually they both went in the same time, I would imagine, and um, Tever decided to stand guard and watch as uh, Lone Star with gave a, a feather. feather. With a feather. <laughs> I did. I had yeah. a feather and I was, I was trying to make sure that, you know, what was going on there. So uh, before we get into the next um, update or recap, um, Aaron is, Aranus is underwater and so is Plaskin. Plaskin is somewhere. And uh, Sprock is still on the ship, but he's, he's uh, invisible. Invisible. That's what I have for you. So uh, when Drake and Lone Star made their great escape into the, the head of this rock monster named Treple. Rock monster's name wasn't Treple, but it, you might but as that, well be. Well, that's what I had on my notes. Drake yeah. shows up, awoken Treple. Yeah, giant I'd... stone giant. Mm -hmm. And inside that head was cool, wet air. It's dark hallways and tunnels. <coughs> a skeleton comes at us and explodes. J Drake finds some chained uh, gnomes. <coughs> They're stone gnomes. One was named Griffin and the other was named Trapple. We break them out. Um, Lone Star, of course, hands him something from his bag. He hands Griffin a crossbow and trapple the 30 bolts that go with it. Um, Drake wander continues uh, uh, making his way through the path and finds a, a stone warforged. And the uh, uh, Griffin runs over um, and says, these are, this is mine, this is mine, one second. And he turns it on, and it's a uh, a Warforge named M28 that's connected to Griffin. And then they, there's another one called D167 that's connected to Trapel. And that went offline when the, uh, the other gnomes were unconscious. Um, we go to a rope, and the rope is moving. Um, and... At that at that moment, brains attacked us. We killed them. They weren't that hard. Drake ends up breaking two ladders trying to climb up them. Um, and we hear this voice throughout the entire head. We are one. One are we. We all become scared of a door. Uh, we heal in our light, take a rest. Drake gives us this magnificent speech. And we hear again, we are one, one are we in our heads. Um, and I saw through Sprock's eyes when I was resting. It was weird. Um, and the that same uh, hearing on my or sound on my head that we are one. I now hear. I can see th your thoughts. Um. And then there's a, I don't know. It it was all confusing. Um, and then I have a note that says, "Split green spirit is in you," and I don't. I know the something weird is going on there. This green spirit thing is before me. I was with you guys, um, but these brain people are after the skulls. Um. I our uh, Lone Star um, gives uh, the Warforge some things from his bag. Gives one of them short sword, another another ring. Uh, Drake climbs a wall and goes into our doorway. Finds more brains, a chest, uh, some just some potions. Um, the uh, gnomes got knocked knocked out again, apparently. And uh, we try to wake the gnomes, and uh, unbeknownst to Lone Star, 
Trapple was taken over by Intellect Devour. D-167 doesn't know. It's unfortunate. Uh, Lone Star breaks into the top of this tower he was in. He finds some old brains and murky jars, a bag of sand, um, and he grabs an object to unwrap it, unwrap it. Spencer, you never told me what it was that I unwrapped. Uh, that was in the chest. Yeah, I did. Uh, we'll I get don't to remember. It. Keep, keep going. Okay. I had it written down. So, so as he starts to do that, sand fills the room. Um, from the chest pops out. I see a large area. Oh, no. So it fills the room, and luckily, Lonsar had his air bubble, so he could breathe. So that after 10 minutes, the sand retreated, and he saw this little shape on the ceiling. <clears throat> so like a jackass he is, he went into the chest, made the room fill with sand again, and then when it was at the top, popped open the uh, the top of this doorway and popped out and sees this hive mind suckling on the stone mountain brain and it talks to us um drake goes unconscious gets knocked out by these fucking mind flares and their brains and these fucking tentacles tentacles that can move and slap you from 30 feet away um I forgot about this. So, Trapple, who was taken over by the Intellect Devourer, unbeknownst to anyone else. Because earlier in this fight, Lone Star saw an Intellect Devourer between him and this hole in the floor. And he had this really cool feature that when someone hits him, he can knock him back and he's always wanted to use it. So he knocked this intellect devourer down this hole, thinking, eh, it's dead. But that was the one that came up behind and took over Trapple without us knowing. So at this time, Lone Star Drake are, Drake's unconscious. Lone Star is rushing forward. Um, Griffin's getting ready to shoot. The, the Warforge are sh rushing ahead. He takes his chance. Trapple pushes Griffin to his death. True. This is what happens, guys. Okay. Trapple uh, takes Drake's health potion to heal himself. We hear thoughts through Sprock um, into the Underdark. The door to DeSantis. DeSantis. The door to Ron DeSantis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Will keep us safe from doing him a hand. Brain and these motherfucking mind flayers teleport out after they oh, suckle all the life flares. energy out of this stone brain. Unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> Trapple takes another one of Drake's healing potions, but this time he runs over to Lone Star's unconscious body. Lone Star didn't see him push uh, Griffin over the edge. He heals Lone Star and wakes him back up. Motherfucker. Uh, Lone Star hands Trapple a feather and says, go get him, boy. Thank you for healing me. Drake somehow wait, comes awake after 10 rounds of being unconscious from the <laughs> damn spell. It was one, a very boring game for Drake uh, at that point. That was, that was rough. Let rough me stuff. tell you, these, these Warforged that these gnomes had a control of, they fucking cleaned house. <laughs> they every shot they took hit, every hit was near max damage. And they were just every everything else anyone did miss, but these warforged, they were going to fucking town. Sure. Um so Drake gets back up, sees this uh mind flare grappling Lone Star's unconscious body. And he runs up and beats the living everything out of this mind flare, mm -hmm. destroys it. Right before it's about to die, 
plane shifts out. Checked out. <laughs> These tentacles don't know this intellect devourer is inside of Trapple, though. So after Trapple healed Lone Star, he went to go kept keep fighting, trying to keep on the ruse, if you will. Oh, I but will. that's when yeah. We will. The, we the, will. This, these tentacles, <laughs> they they didn't they weren't in on it. The mind flares were the tentacles. They it just whacked them, popped them right out of the body. And uh, <laughs> at that at that moment, Lone Star, just being woken up with a healing potion again from Drake this time, just pops his last intellect devour and just poof. And in that poof, we find a, a glowing blue key. We take this key and just start rushing out of this giant mountain skull before it collapses back down the holes. <coughs> Tevrit, you start hearing this crumbling and some rush of wind behind you as Drake carrying, dragging Lone Star's near dead body out of this mound as it starts to collapse. Pretty good. So um, to translate, uh, <laughs> a lot a lot happened. So there are these things called uh, devour these brain things. They Intellect can, uh, devourers. Well, you know, you'll have to just w wait. But they oh, can go. They, Bone Star they, knows. He's seen them. It was, what was really funny <laughs> was that Jake uh, was, I'm sorry. So Chris decided to kick a intellect devourer off and it just randomly we randomly rolled and it stuck on and then um at the very no, it, end, like it, it didn't it, get enough fall damage yeah, to die did, yeah it didn't get enough fall damage and then so we rolled to see if it got back up the shaft and it did and then it what it would do is and then uh the trapel guy the 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 gnome that we yeah. had picked up um the we rolled. They were all knocked. They were yeah, all it was knocked fucking out crazy. from and so that thing. You guys, at, at a moment, you guys had a no, a friendly gnome that was that was not that was a mind flare in disguise in the group, and I was trying to keep him there, and I and I fucking I just I, I he accidentally died. It would have been so you sick. You got you got too confident. Yeah, I got too confident. Fucking mm -hmm. drink. Anyway. <laughs> Good, re good recap. Fucking Drake. It, yeah. It's quite amazing to me how, uh, you know, supportive you were about healing each other and taking care of your teammates when uh, I, have, I have a good friend that didn't even get a, a Band-Aid. Bone Star <clears throat> healed as more than anyone else in this entire group. Sure. Lone Star's healed me a lot. I've handed potions to people, but I didn't have any potions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we no in in that in that darkness. It was something else. We didn't see you when it happened. Mm -hmm. We didn't. It, it was dark, and then it wasn't, and your body was there. Yeah, and there it, we knew it was too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, <laughs> all right, so uh, Sprock is um, he on lives on. The, Sprock lives in on. Our hearts. Is uh yeah, Sprock. Um, you are. Hey, wait, on a, Spencer, in a Spencer, 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 Spencer. Yeah. Are you gonna keep sharing the thing because I'm I'm losing the magic? Yeah, it's it's shared. No, no, no. If you're sharing the screen now, I can still see. Can you see? Yeah. All right. Never mind. Go ahead. Wait, wait. Is it still shared? Yeah, your screen yeah. is still shared. Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna continue to share the screen. Oh, okay. I would. I would never do that to you. <laughs> I mean, I just I feel like the magic is you, we're going to see things before they come. Oh no, no, no! I'm oh. just setting up the lay of the land. Oh, okay. And, okay. and believe me, you won't. You won't. Um, okay. I've already. If he's waited. putting it out there, it's coming anyway. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> and here's Jonathan. <laughs> fuck uh, no! We burned no, his just, ass. Wait, kidding. Jonathan. We no, killed John. We burned. Jonathan, we burned Jonathan, his ass. Jonathan is just being a representation of the uh, of the guy. All right, <laughs> oh, the stone um, giant. Yeah. So now I got to bring out Drake. All right. So um, we lost. Let's, let's go to. Uh, let's just save this. <laughs> and 
Get the fuck out of here. It keeps popping down. It's very annoying. Uh, here. LOS1. All right. Now, let's go back to our familiar spot here. Aaron. Hi. Um, this entire room is filled with water. And <laughs> uh, you are stuck in the room. There you are. Yeah. You are you 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 know what happened? It came that the surge of water just really just crept up on you, splashed dirt in your eyes and pushed you down the hill. Um, mm. and and before you could respond, the room filled with water. Mm. Okay. What do you do? Um wait. Do I still, did you guys steal my fucking apparatus off my body while I was gone? Or do I, I look around my body to see if I still have my helmet. Um, did we, so who has- We that? only used two. Okay, and one was broken or one was not, no, one is broken now. <laughs> we had, well, no, we had one working and one broken one because we had to so, share. That's right. No, um, so Tevrit was wearing one. So no, I, I don't have kept, my helmet now. We kept you know, sharing with Drake. Right. Yeah. So um, how many did we get? Oh, no, Plaskin has a helmet, right? Aaron, did you have a helmet? I thought I was the one that found the helmets. And then I put one on me, and then I gave the one that needed the to be pumped to yeah. um uh, to Matt, to Plaskin. Okay. Yes, so you have yours. And, am I crazy? I mean, we. I I feel like I would have stolen stolen it if, if I no. was. Yeah. Lone Star. I think Lone Star grabbed one and gave it to Tevrit. Okay, so uh, Aaron, the one the one that Te the one that Tevrit has is the one that needs to be pumped. Aaron, you have one that that breathes. Okay, cool. That functions for now. Um, you are floating. Uh, down yonder and you're coming to a rock hit you in the head um, and made you prone while this happened um, but I guess you're smart enough to put your apparatus on and kind of float floated there for a while just self-conscious you know uh, unconsciously reach to my side and bloop bloop um, yeah. so wait I'm at the bottom of this hole I mean I don't have a you're like in the middle of the hill you don't have to Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I would say, um, first thing I would do is like try to get up. Um, if I have the helmet on, I, I'll try to get. Yeah, up. yeah, the helmet on. It's going to be weighing you down, um, but mm -hmm. you can swim. You can still swim with it, um, and I'll let you go. Um, well, I rolled a six. I don't know what I'm trying to save for though. Uh, no, you don't have to. Uh, you're right. gonna try. Are you gonna try to? Because it's gonna be dark, but you have dark vision. But it's also gonna be murky, and you're wearing a, a hat. So, <clears throat> are, do you have anything that you can use to light your way, or do, would you like to um, try to? Well, yeah, I can like um, I can use press digitation to like create sparks underwater. Um, oh, oh shit, that's what I was trying. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for my D and D Beyond sheet. I just didn't have it open. Sorry, give me one sec. Give me sure. One sec. Mm. Not sure if you can use that underwater. Mm -hmm. I think the water would immediately put that out. Oh, sparks uh, underwater does seem like something that shouldn't happen. Huh? Yeah, unless you want to roll a d20. You can roll a d20 to see, see if that works. Grab a closed vial of air that yeah. I know you have a potion bot vial of and create the sparks inside the vial. That's a smart guy. It's too bad he's um, above water, though. If, <laughs> if only you had that wizard nearby to tell you that. Um, okay, so. Hmm. I mean, you kind of get the center, general uh, direction of where you came from. So you're going to swim in that, in, that, in that direction. I'm trying oh, to figure, open up your thing to see if you have anything that can help you here. Yeah, um, I think. What I'll do is <laughs> maybe I'll like snap my fingers and like keep trying to make the thing happen and be like dumb, dumb. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna kind of just swim forward. I'm just gonna slowly swim forward. Okay. Um, so I'll let you. Um, 
you know what you get to you swim forward enough where you feel the ground and you get the sense that uh and you can you can tell that you're floating upward when you breathe in um and you uh can tell the upward direction of the slope so uh that's what you can you can gather there from your um from your uh just random perception without so, rolling um can i like push up and try to reach the surface uh there is no surface here it's all it's completely underwater no no no, no i mean like surface of the water yeah you i mean you can you can continue to go but this entire room is just filled with water um, oh, this okay, gate okay. oh this gate opened the gate is at the bottom of the ocean and it uh gotcha. flooded flooded out like you don't necessarily know that but you you taste seawater your random perception that you have on your character sheet allows you to to get the idea that you're probably under the sea okay um so i'm just going to keep swimming forward yeah and just kind of just take my time and just keep okay. swimming forward um before i cut back to the other scene um big role here um you are going to are you gonna how are you gonna be maneuvering here are you gonna try to get to the other you can't see anything so mm -hmm. and all of the teleportation devices are identical enough to be very confusing so I'll, i'm going to leave that with you as you get to the like top. identical to what we saw previously right yeah, i don't know better. You wouldn't necessarily imagine swimming in pitch black and you're trying to fit, find the right oh, teleportation. Okay. Gotcha. You know, and they're okay. all they're all active. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, oh, they're all active? They're well the the yeah, they're all active. Okay. I hope you don't I hope you don't go back in time. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> Um, so we're going to save that as Aranus one. Um, okay, guys, you're at the top here. Um, now Sprock, you're on a ship, this ship, um, you're invisible. There was one guy on it um, that went down below, and he told you um, that he's scared and didn't want to didn't want to help you. Um, that was before I went invisible. That was, and then you came out and you went invisible. Um, you had I'm not sure how much damage you had or any of that crap, but um, you were invisible, um, trying to stay clear, steer clear of the harpies. The harpies um are gone at the moment or for now and um you are on this ship um somewhat by yourself the Can ship this the ship, ship thing out here the, the track ship, the ship the ship does uh not look like it's in good condition um, <laughs> what was your question i can see the giant tree on the, it's the uh the, the giant mountain guy yeah. um is dead um drake and lone star did not save it the elder brain unfortunate uh, well you guys don't know but um it it its eyes closed for you you can just see its eyes closed and it's no longer breathing um and is that lone star in the water uh lone star and, and drake are on this this is just an object that i pulled out to to represent the, lone uh, star and drake are popping out of the ear of this yeah. Head popping out of the water. Yeah. Drake pops out. He looks over at uh, Teverit, Teverit, and he says, "Thank you for guarding this area, sir." And I'm I'm playing with the the feather still. Let's get back on the boat. Yeah, we need to talk. We need to talk and rest. I'm drop a rope off the side of the boat. Lone Star is gonna slowly swim over there. You see a bunch of blood trailing <laughs> behind him. Oh, I'll follow. And Aaron, uh, Aaron, your character for whatever reason, I might have accidentally clicked on it was inactive on the in the my campaigns. I've reactivated it. Oh, <laughs> just in case you were wondering for it. Um, I'm sorry. You know, Go ahead. What would you guys like to do? Yeah, everyone, everyone has. Yeah, dude. 
everyone has free roam. Um, Aaron, I don't know. I'm not going to cut back and forth between your, your yeah, I'm going to, um, if I recognize kind of like where I am, I'm going to list kind of like towards the left, top left. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to go to your left as far as you can and try to reach the wall. Right. Okay. Um, oh, this okay. is great. So you're blind in the dark navigating. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, uh, so I'll say that you can just move over there and you're on the wall and you're, I guess, right, what so are you then, doing? You're, you're pushing forward? Yeah, so then I go forward and, you know, just like tracing my hand on the wall to keep to keep track of it. And um, I'm like reaching out in front yeah. of me to uh, reach for, um, you know, the, the monuments. Um, are you up or are you down? Where are you located? Like, are you down towards the bottom, towards the ground? Or are you towards the up? ground? Yeah. All right. So you find you you find the statue um, that you think is most left, which would be most left. Um, um, and so and, I feel along the sides to feel for um, the circle groove that I felt previously before I put the. Give me on. a perception check. No, no, you know what? Give me a investigation check. Investigation, uh, 18. Okay, you feel the circular bumps and you feel that the object is in it. Okay, I'll go in. Blue, 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 blue. Um, immediately you, it's still dark, but you um, come out, there's seaweed all around you. I'll cut to that scene later. Mm -hmm. um, everyone here gets to go for a little bit. Uh, What's your guys' plan? What are you guys doing? Lonzo is going to try and climb up the the rope. Um, uh, over the over the you mean the anchor, the anchor thing or whatever? No, just rock lowered a rope. Oh, um, excellent. Okay, um, give me a uh, rope check. <laughs> well, athletics? No. Um, yeah, you can give me athletics to pull yourself up. Um, is is uh, Sprock assisting you? Jake, are you assisting in this? Um... Yeah, I'm holding a rope. As long as, as long as Lone Star isn't holding the rope, I, I tied it off, and I'm also holding it. Oh man! Okay. Lone this? Star has never failed at tying a rope. That I was my, my prior character. Oh, not me. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. that's right. You, you. We don't know. We don't know. You're right. You're we, right. I'm we sorry. do not know. I just I'm traumatized. <laughs> I, I'm traumatized. Aaron's That's like, why Lonzo hasn't tied I'll a rope. Just, uh, Mike, just 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 to fill you in, um, Chris had a uh, what was he? He was a, a monk. They were supposed he was to be a monk. magician ninja, and he uh, tried to climb a rope, and he rolled so low the rope broke, and he like like took a lot of damage and alerted like all the bad guys that he was there. It was it was terrible. And then we had no, to like no, rappel no, down the side then, of the thing, and he tied and then he tied a table, but he, he tied doesn't. another rope. Oh, he man. went down it fine, yeah. but then when Aranus went down it, it broke. <laughs> yeah, just the um, knot broke. Uh, okay, so you, you rolled. You're uh, right. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Um, uh, thirteen. Oh, wait, yeah. did I have to roll for the knot? Yeah assist oh i did i did it with advantage yeah. for the aid okay you got your up that was an easy one okay um and uh Tavret, are you gonna follow suit yeah i'm gonna climb up this rope okay so uh as lodzar collapses onto the deck he'll start retelling everyone who's there the story i did for the recap um the mountain sort of slowly sinks back down into the it starts to fall apart and crumble, like a perfect time to make your exit. Um, Drake is going to, uh, he's going to say, Lone Star, I have to get back to the, um, to the desert. Um, I have to compete in the upcoming games. Um, I will see you as soon as I can. He gets on a little canoe, um, lifeboat. So you'll wait, wait, my friend, here. And he'll reach in his bag and throw something at you. Roll a d20. 
uh, four. Uh, he'll throw a bottle of wine at Drake. <laughs> he takes like he, a he soft looks, lob. He he says thank you so much, but I I have no I have no use for this. But he he looks over at Sprock. He says, and I but I know I know you guys will drink it. <laughs> and he says, Lone Star, drink to me. I'll see you in another life. Um, and he hands it back to you. He says, thank you. And he gets on his canoe and, and floats away. So it's just you three on the Another spot. life. I'll pop open the bottle and take a swig and then hand it to Sprock. Tastes so much better than um, Brock Lahal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. You guys are on the, you guys are on the ship, um, on the top of the ship. Um, and the ship looks beat up. Um, the sail is not um, on it. In order for you guys to appropriately, um, this ship that you are on. Can we is, take a rest on the ship? Um, yes, but I would say someone has the lookout. Okay. Um, I was resting and looking out during that whole head golem stone giant fight. Uh, I would that say whole thing that, took how long that takes, Vince? Um, pretty long time. I, I would think it'd be like a, a time warp. <laughs> um, all that happened within two seconds. All right, look at this shit. The, I can click a button and this stuff gives you different rooms here. That's sick. All right, you guys can go into the uh, small rooms here um, and hide out. I'll give you guys a short rest. Um, you guys, this ship, while you're resting, you realize and, and you can come to um, as you forge around for a nice spot or anything that you, um, just your passive perceptions, um, you get that this is a sailing ship. Um, it's not a massive cargo ship, but it, it clearly was taking some sort of cargo somewhere. Um, it does have a hit point total. I'm not going to metagame that until you have, well, I might tell you how much it has, but I'll, I'll let you guys keep track of it um, if you want. Um, and further investigations will reveal what uh, it has with it. Um, as you guys um, are resting, um, Aaron is Hi. at the bottom of the sea. You are um, essentially dead. No, just kidding. You Jesus. are underwater. Um, I'm going to, let's see, SOI two. Okay. Um, Aranis, you are now, where the hell is the shark? <laughs> battle shark. The Boke battle shark. All right, you. <laughs> <laughs> see here um aaron it's your character is over here in the in the uh seaweeds as you um look out into the into the water uh you see a glimmers of light um and you also uh see that you are surrounded by seaweed it's a good um it's a good uh camouflage um give me a perception check when you um get out from or just as you walk towards the seaweed there's a there's a lot of uh, battle that happened here cool <clears throat> um perception uh 16 um okay you see that the water is there is a big cloud of red in the water. Looks like mud, maybe blood. You're not 100% sure one or the other. Mm. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell that people were standing where you're standing um, from, or there wasn't any recollection of, of anyone being around because you're, um, you know. There's ocean. my character? Oh, I'm in the sea. That's not me, but that's no, me this, in the sea. This is you. Yeah, that's you. Gotcha. Um, and then... Uh, your 16 perception though it's a high enough one um you will see a sharknado of sorts that's what um is. there are a lot of sharks there are just a lot of fucking sharks 
Um, <laughs> trying to find it. So you have about 10 sharks and four of them are massive sharks um, and six of them are smaller sharks. Um, what would you like to do? Okay, hold on. Gotta flip this camera around. Oh, but I don't, I don't see them. Um, no, I haven't put them out yet. But just oh, imagine okay. that um, you see a big cloud of red. You see, you can count to your as 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 the there are things in the red that are moving around. Um, you can make out about. Um, Four, sh four larger shadows, and um, and uh, all right. I cast invisibility, mm. and then I swim forward towards what I guess looks like a battle. Battle shark. Okay. Um, would you like to do this discreetly? Would you like to do this? Well, yeah. I mean, I turned invisible. It would be no point thrashing about. It's true. it's true rashing about <laughs> i start I, I immediately start swimming like a wounded fish <laughs> <laughs> i punch myself in the nose and yeah okay um so which which way are you headed you can't really see anything um here exactly i guess just forward Um, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm assuming that this space is like I can see normally. Um, barely obscured, or yeah, it's it's going to be obscured because there's uh, the whole the water underneath you is just is just bloody, full of blood and dirt. Okay, like there's been like a feast going on while scary. you've been hiding away. All right, so yeah, I'm going to invisibly and stealthily swim my way uh, towards what, to see what's going on, see what all this commotion is, there's all this blood in this water. Um, if I look up, can I see that there's nothing. a break in the water? Or nothing. Can't see you anything? See, you see nothing. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so you get you get closer to this thing. Give me a um, stealth. Stealth check. Yeah. Ooh, twenty three, baby. Uh, okay, so you get your um, the flow of the water right now is flowing slowly past you in your direction. In the direction that I'm swimming, and that you are, you are going in the opposite direction of the flow. So uh, you can tell that if you, right at the moment, if there's anything out there looking for you, it might the 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 the, the uh, flow of the water might take away the. Um, oh, I see. But you um, do with that with that flow. Um, you do see a chunk of, you see chunks of fish as you approach this, um, these, this area. Mm -hmm. um, you see sharks swimming around. Um, some of them are, are eating uh, leftovers. You see some of the sharks um, have shark bites. You see other shark bite pieces that look like they've been cut with axes and, and swords. Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna think. I'm gonna like, oh, so the sharks won, <laughs> and then I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna go. Uh, hope my guys are okay, um, and I'm going to uh, misty step towards the surface of the water. Okay, I'm going to roll a very. I guess gotta pull up a shark because um, sharks, I think, have advantage on certain. Well, they could smell. Yeah. But it depends on which way the current's going. Right. And yeah, and you said it's going me. against me from their direction, so... So they wouldn't be able to smell you. Yeah. Unless they're behind you. 
Well, they would just have a regular roll, not advantage. Um, okay, so that's not what that is. A hunter shark, stupid little bug. Um, let me pull this up now. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, so I'm going. You're gonna. I'm gonna make it so you have to roll three times. Mm -hmm. um, these guys, keep in mind, you guys are having your um, short rest. So I'm gonna give Aaron a couple rolls here. Um, you are a quarter of the way up. Um, and are you are you going up where you are? Or are you gonna go in the into the middle? No, I'm just going straight up. Straight up. Okay. Um yeah. roll me a uh first off a you already did your stealth, so that's fine. I'm gonna do a very high um perception C. Okay, nothing happens. Um, roll me your next one. Um, and as you get higher, the water becomes clearer. Um, but I okay. guess you're still invisible, right? Yeah, I mean, well, because it, 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 it uh, breaks when you cast a spell. Did you let me misty step or did I have to? Because I, I don't know if I actually cast no. it or if I was just swimming. No, you, you, you cast it. Oh, okay. Because so I said it, but then you were like, "Okay, wait," and I was like, "Okay." Oh, uh, so you cat, so you're misty step, so you're halfway up there, but you're no longer right. invisible. Right. Um, okay, let's do another roll here for the sharks. Ooh, that's you're lucky there. It's a two. Give me um, now. You're what you're doing right now is you're a, you're a, a three quarters of the way up this thing, mm -hmm. um, and you mm -hmm. are looking down at ten sharks, just looking for food. They're mm -hmm. there. Some of them are there because they've been chowing down. Some of them are there just attracted by the blood. Um, how are you going to get from where you are right here to, mm -hmm. and then I guess you, you can see clear, uh, you can see the bow, the bottom of the, of the ship, and you can see that the anchor is hanging down, that there is a ship once right. you get out of, out of the, out of the, the mud. And so, uh, hold on, I have to go in the thing for this. Um, is the anchor, hold on, got to get up there, I'm getting there. Uh, uh, can you see my hand? Yeah. Oh, so, here, I'll draw the anchor. Okay. The anchor's right here, the white thing. Oh, okay, and it's it's going up? Okay. Yeah, le least, least best place for you, that's where, that's where it's at. No. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go straight up. Mm -hmm. Just keep going straight up and reach the to, to get to the surface. Give me a uh decepti. Well, how would you like to go up there? You're gonna just start. I'm gonna going. uh keep keep I'm gonna continue my steady silent stroke, just pushing, just pushing as hard and soft as I can, just one stroke, pushing it out, just whoosh. Um give whoosh. me a uh survival check. Okay. Oh, I need to go, I need to go swimming. Oof. That was Four. some detailed technique. <laughs> uh, a, four. a four? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Um, all, <laughs> you, you see six sharks. Um, they're swimming around, and all of a sudden, they all look up at you um, and roll initiative Aaron. You are, from what you can tell, you are... Um, your swimming is half of your uh, speed, which okay. so you can go 15. Um, okay. You are about uh, 45 feet from the sharks. The sharks have a, a movement speed of 40, and you can see that maybe the um, sharks are about uh, 85 uh, feet from you. Okay. And how far can I tell how close I am to the surface? Uh, yeah, you're you're about you're about a rec right angle away. So you're 45 feet um, on a diagonal away from the from the uh, from the, from the ship. Boat. So that would be a little less. Let's just say 40. Um, okay. 40 feet. Cool. So I'm gonna immediately, as soon as I see these sharks turn to beeline, I'm going to fucking haul it right. directly towards the ship. Roll initiative. <laughs> Uh, oh, I rolled a 17. Um, uh, 22. 22, eh? 
Um, all right. Well, all the sh every single one of the sharks. Um, Aaron's got twenty-two, and the sharks got ten. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So you're gonna haul ass. So you're gonna go. Haul fifth, ass. You're gonna swim feet. Um, so you're fifteen. So you're, you're going in in the direction of the boat, or are you going up? I'm going in the direction of the boat. Angled up, right? So you're yeah, you're yes. you're thirty you're thirty feet. Are you gonna double your speed? Um, you can you can. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't imagine you're gonna attack. Yes, the sharks. I am so, going to do exactly that. I'm gonna. So yes, gonna I'm gonna sprint. move thirty feet. So okay, I'll be fifteen gonna, feet away from it. So you're fifteen feet away from this uh, this boat. Um, you can see the anchor details of the of the hanging thing, but you can also, as you turn around, you can see that the sharks are also um, going to move um, forty feet in that direction. And then now they are circling you. Um, and there's three sharks that are around you. Um, and so they moved 40 feet. So doesn't that, so wait, did they move twice their movement to get to the yeah. or Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so they are five feet from you, these, uh, these three sharks. Okay. And I think uh, <laughs> that that's enough for an attack. So they use they use they their use, action to to move. Oh, I did. You're movement. right. They're five feet. Yeah, Chris, you saved his life. All right, Ooh. Aaron, you are. Um, That's why he's one of Lone Star's champions. Yo, Lone Star, watch this. So I'm gonna swim that last 15 feet to the uh, top of the to the surface, um, right next to the boat, like literally right flush up next to it, and then I'm going to use Misty Step to go 30 feet into the air. Um, directly above, like uh, uh, directly up and above me, so that um, I land on top of the boat. Mm, I don't like this. So you guys are resting. Um, Aaron, you jump out of the water. I feel like you're going to have to give me some rolls for that. Um, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Misty. So I'm from the surface of the water. You're at thirty. Because how you're, high you're up at, is the boat? You're at you're at fifteen feet in the water. So right. so the first the thing sharks are, the sharks are right next to you. The sharks are within attack range. So they you have to make get, sure you you disengage that somehow. Yeah. Uh, um, they do get. They will get. They will get a. You could a, use a, your action to disengage. Yeah, I'm gonna use my um. I'm gonna use uh. What's it called? Because. Um, well, no, you could use your action to disengage because Misty Step's a bonus action. Oh, nice. I was I was literally looking at what different actions they all were. The, okay, Lone yeah. Star um, is going to start growing warts on his skin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, so I'm going to use my okay. action to disengage from the sharks and then swim the last warts. 15 feet. And then I'm going to Misty Step straight up and over. Like, to, but you like, can you so you so you're gonna disengage uh -huh. as an action, yeah, and then you're still 15 feet in the water, yeah, and I'm gonna so swim then you're gonna to the move, surface. yeah, you're gonna swim your 15 feet, I got mm -hmm. it, and then you're gonna go and you're gonna try to, I'm gonna miss step. step into the air like all over the boat, like into oh, the bonus right. action spell teleport. Okay. Isn't isn't disengage one action and movement a different action? Yes. Yeah. But and then then misty step, no, is, a his misty step is a bonus action. Well, no, you're you always get your movement every turn. Oh, okay. And you you always get your action, a bonus action, and your movement. Okay. Okay. There are um, angry sharks swimming next to the ship. Um, two of them go away. One of them is going to um, continue to attacked the ship he wants his meat um i'm gonna so walk he's... over to the edge of the ship and then hold on a sec let me make sure i have the spell slots for this before i start talking through it spencer roll a d8 so i'm gonna cast Three. a first level i'm sorry uh no he was just telling me to roll something um, um go ahead what are you doing so i'm gonna aim off the i'm gonna aim at the shards i'm gonna walk up to the side of the ship after i've landed and i'm gonna aim down and shoot magic missile at the sharks that are um a first level magic missile okay 
Oh, one. So I shoot two. Uh, I shoot two missiles. Oh and no, 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 two is the damage. I'm sorry. So I shoot one missile. And you shoot three missiles, and they all hit for the one d four plus one each. Oh, I thought it was the roll for the. Oh, right. yeah. They all automatically hit, and and each one that you can target any number of creatures are all one is one d four plus one per dart. Nice. So I deal two da- So I deal two damage to the three sharks that are there, or if there's if there was two, you said there's just one now. Oh, so, so yeah. How much, do you, six, how much do you do? Six damage to him. Okay. Um, shark gets uh, gets a little nervous. Um, he is going to um, attack you. Um, and uh, attack the ship, rather. And that hits um, the ship, because the ship has a low armor class here. Um, and the ship is going to take um because really how can he miss but the ship is going to take three damage your ship is now at from 200 hp which is not its max the ship has a 200 hp right now um its maximum hp is going to be 30 i will send you guys your um the details that you need for it but i don't want to have too much of it um Mm. so you have it's now going to be it's taking what three damage so you're now at 197 um a little piece of wood went away the shark lost the tooth um and it's going to swim away and you are now aboard the ship you don't see any uh you don't see any (laughs) any familiar faces but just it just so happens that i believe your um friends are waking up so okay um so i'm i see the shark uh going away and I just huff and <laughs> start walking, you know, take the helmet off, <sighs> tie it to my side, and I just walk towards the cabins, the the you know, below deck. Um, give me a perception check, Sprock. Eighteen twenty-six. You hear this noise coming towards you. You don't know what it is. It's definitely walking on the boat. Um, Lone Star, you also hear this. It wakes you. Um, Tevrit, you as well. Now, you hear this too, Tevrit. Um, knocking in the end, and it's sort of gently creeping almost. Um, what do definitely you guys creeping, do? Because I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm still a little wary. Okay. Lone Star is gonna roll over and continue resting. Okay. Trying to take that long rest. <laughs> um, Feels fucked up. Sprock, do you? Do you guys are doing anything? I want to. I want to investigate. What's on this ship? What else? What else? What's this creaking? What's downstairs? All right. So, um, Aaron, you come aboard. Um, you, you open the door. You see uh, Sprock is sitting there sleeping. But you see this new guy, Tevrit, standing there. I said Sprock. I, I would say Sprock. And then I would look at him and I would draw my sword and I would say, Are you friend or foe? And I would like wake <laughs> up and be like, fuck you, ma'am. No, I, 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 you, where I, you been? I, you so I see Sprock you. laying down and I yell, I go, Oh God, it's Sprock. And then I look over at um the, the guy I don't know, and I'm like, I draw my sword and I'm like, Are you friend or foe? I will draw my axe. Who are you? What do you want? Nice. I'm like, that's my friend there. What are uh, you doing here? How do you know him? Mike, you get inspiration for that. <laughs> that response. <laughs> a friend of a friend is a friend. You don't need to die today, son. <laughs> Ooh. I laugh. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> big I words see. i love it i see why they like you i walk right I by and go down. i go downstairs to uh to see what kind of shit we have on this um okay so 
<laughs> do you have any so i'm gonna say mm -hmm. that uh you get back together and i'm gonna say that everyone is going to be able to have a long rest here yeah so, uh, do that. your do well, your level do your level ups um chris i gave you your i think i gave you your no i don't think you did my xp uh, where are you right now is this gonna be a no a i'm i'm a ways or... away okay so i'll give it to you afterwards yeah i hit eight eight not long ago i have everyone that you killed so. i i'm sure you do about you including trapple <laughs> yeah. i'm getting his xp yeah that's for sure um all right so you guys are on this boat um Ooh. everyone gets a long rest um and this boat is in bad condition um the way that this boat uh sailing is going to work is that uh you are going to have some ships ship guides um you are in the middle of the ocean give me a perception check uh who's got the best one it's brock jake. yeah uh jake sprock give me a perception check i always have the best perception it's true 21 um you look out onto the ocean and uh you are from what you can tell you can't see any land nothing back side or wherever it's just a complete big circle no uh land you do see that there are some clouds over there there's some sun over there the sun is uh, above you now it's whatever um but you don't see anything um just the only thing that you can really feel and tell it, uh or have any type of um, feeling with when it comes to the perception check that you gave me was just the general rocking of the boat um the boat is damaged um it is there doesn't look good um but the with with the sailing of the ships you guys are going to have to um either hire a crew or um we'll get to that later or find a crew to help you it's going to be very difficult to man the ship by yourself i wouldn't say hire per se but um you mm -hmm. guys are going to oh, so need... spencer yeah would lone star's background as a smuggler smuggling on ships help this out a lot yes i was just going to ask does anyone have any type of uh, background from your stories yep. on uh, about sh about ships? Yep, Lone Star's a smuggler, water vehicle proficiency. Like I, Rena, smug if, if Rena was there, he'd be like, "Okay, let me." Oh my this. god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, if Rena was there, it'd be like, "I know who to hire to fix this." <laughs> yeah. All right. So you that have your, what's your what's your background? Mine is smuggler. Oh. So you know, Here, let me um, look it up. you know the insides of the of the ship. You know, uh, I wouldn't say you don't know what reality you're in. I guess that's setting up on you mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, but you, so you don't really know ports or anything like that per se. I, just I, I know how to get this boat working. Yeah, um, but you will know how to um, get the boat working with four people with. Um, severe disadvantage rolls and my intelligence is 20 okay so that does help i'm probably strong enough to to lift that so oh, for sure well when we well, when we get to the rolls we will um say so if, if you guys are doing something that obviously requires more crew you guys are gonna have a, a tremendous disadvantage um like I lone star have, lone star is gonna telepathically roll. tell the crew what to do as they need to yeah. do stuff um that's fine but it's still you still need um it says here that this is the crew is 30 so you guys are going to do five man job i mean it's not you know yeah a, a no, portion it's... a portion a portion of that crew is also um cooking and a surgeon and stuff like that so you'll when you get there you'll sign those things um so um you're on this boat. Speed up. Um, Teverit wants to investigate. Yeah, I'm going downstairs. 
Uh, you go downstairs. That's where I was going before. Before we're trying um, to get the boat working, but there's there's a third there's a third. Uh, you go downstairs. You see that there were shackles. Um, in shaped in a sort of uh, square like fashion, um, like the ship might have been transporting uh, gelatinous cubes. I love <laughs> um, just the same size of uh, of the cubes upstairs. Um, you see that there is a broken uh, piece of there's like an opening. Um, give me a Perception check, Aaron, is since you're the rogue. I can't hear you. I said, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Twelve. Um, you are able to deduce from using, give me a, a you know what, roll that a, with advantage. OK. Oh, okay. 21. You're able to deduce that this was some sort of, of someone broke in and had to have let these people out. You're, 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 you're a rogue. You're sleight oh, of someone hand. Like crashed into here and someone, it up. someone went aboard this ship and, to, and, and let these things loose. That's what you can deduce from this this room in the situation, based on the unlocked uh, square shackles and the opening. Um, Mike, give me a perception check as I know your your character's eager to find some stuff. Well, twelve. Um, you're definitely on a boat. There is. Uh, <laughs> There is smell of food and beef in the front. Um, there's uh, ammunition in the back, the back of this um, boat. The, uh, on this level, there is ammunition, um, large, um, large arrows, and um, it looks like can like not cannon balls but boulders is there anything to use these weapons these this ammunition with um not down here and then um there is a trap door that leads to a lower level keep on going baby i want to find the good shit the as you enter who's going first Lone Star will go first. Lone Star Armored goes up. first. Um, this lower level uh, looks like it was used to keep um, goods and also as a hidden um, prison. Um, you know, there's a there's a, Slave a, place. a special yeah a special shackle, um, and then there are rows of chairs um where there are oars and or um there's four sets of row uh, of oars um okay. two on two on each side and and benches um this room when you go down there um as you step down there there's no light um mm -hmm. and there's no light because it's filled with water um your boat with your um give me your perception check uh Perception. You should know this. Seven. Um, the boat is, it's not filling, but it's definitely full of water down there, up to your knee. Okay. 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 Is, it, is it leaking or is it just have it's, water? It's just damaged from the harpy invasion and the what hap whatever happened before from Aaron's uh, deduction of Aaron did you share that information with people were you like hmm looks like there was some sort of I'll swim back oh. up to the hole well once um I mean once I see once Lone Star is like up and we're like talking to shit I'm be like what the fuck happened bro 
Like I, I would have, I would have definitely gone on alone. So I'm like, what, what's going on, Sprock? What, where, where, where you fucking, what's going on? Oh yeah, we would have shared the information in these stories. Oh yeah, okay. So you, so everyone knows about the mine thief. I'll get into the detail about that in a second. Um, your ship is full of water and needs to be repaired. Um, you'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, it, it does not look like it is in immediate need of repair, but if you don't, um, you might, the, the ship itself might take some um, perpetual uh, damage hmm. um, moving forward. Oh, now, so... in, terms, in terms of the mind flare stuff, just before we, do you want to, I mean, so what happened inside hmm. that mountain was that there was a Drake and, and Lone Star were trying to find the brain of the mountain to figure out what exactly was um, causing the headache. And when they got to the top chamber, they, they realized this place was full of like weird brain creatures, and there was a there was a mind flare that they had to they had to kill. Um, Who we had they had visions of of and 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 things were talking inside of their head very weird mm. um they would get mind blasted and they would go prone for no reason um and when they had visions it seemed of when they were about to do something important inside that 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 head they had a vision as if they were looking through sprock's eyes which was very weird mm -hmm. um they eventually got to the brain and there was an, an an animal called an elder brain, sucking information from the from the brain of the mountain, and then it disappeared, because um, they can teleport uh, when they sense damage. Um, that's what happened inside of it. And then they, you know, then there was a fight, and so on and so forth. There was a blue. There was a blue uh, mind thief, and he dropped the skull. I mean, he dropped the uh, the key. Blue so key. Blue key, glowing blue key, <laughs> glowing blue key. Yeah, and I would have given the blue key, or, uh, yeah, given the blue key to Sprock, because seeing through his eyes, I would know that something is up with that. So I'd give you a glowing blue key, Sprock. Okay. Um. Okay. So you guys have some sort, some kind of um, blue glowing key. <laughs> Yeah, I'll add that to my inventory. Um, do any of you have any information that you would like to share to Tevrit about what is happening? I don't think Tevrit is familiar with the skulls or blue or anything like that. Lone Star would go to Tevrit. Um, he, so Lone Star gave Tevrit a cloak. Sure. I have that on my notes. Mm -hmm. And he would go to him and it's like, uh, I know you're you're friends with Drake. Um Drake's good friends with these guys, and we uh we just fought through hell and high water together. Um you're welcome to to hang out and stay with us and join us on our quest. We're I we're gonna you know those sharks that we killed? Mm hmm That's just like the very little tiniest bit of of destruction that you can cause coming with us i do like i do like killing things have uh on your adventures have you have you run across anybody else what do you mean anybody else any, we run other, a car. any other friends any other any other foes any anything that you need to report margo what do you mean report i'm just i've got report uh, to who certain people i'm looking for who are you looking for a friend. Mysterious, that's fine. Um, hold on. I'm going to reach in my bag and pull out a longsword plus one. Hand this over to you. This will be better, and better served in your hands, my friend. Enjoy I, it. I say thank you. And then I use it to pick my teeth and throw it on the ground. I have That's a it. battle axe, sir. Fair enough. Leave it down there. Um, does it, is, 
Okay. Let's find these foes. Um, does anyone have any... Okay, so you guys are going to try to sail this ship, I'm assuming. Does anyone have any way of... Uh, any sort of navigation equipment? Does anyone have like a, a compass or... I mean, I guess you're going to navigation use tools. Yeah. No. Well, um, in your backpacks. No. Unfortunately, not. Why wouldn't I, I have? That? I guess I have. Oh, no, I have I do guidance not. water. But doesn't the guidance water only work in that one part of that forest? What? What was the guidance water? Oh no, uh, guidance water. That that works everywhere. Bottles. Guidance water gives you guidance. Yep, one oh. use. Uh, I'm all right. Well, I'm gonna drink it. You're gonna drink the guidance water. Guidance water gives you uh, a advantage on checks, so it gives you guidance. It's the same thing as no, well. No, it's just a, a you add a D four to a to a skill check or something. Okay. Um, what would you like to do? Um, well, actually, you mm. have you have when you take guidance, Aaron. You have that for a period of time, I think, right? For a minute. For one minute. So that's you I'm have. Concerned. And is it just like is it it's clarity of like direction? It no, it's clear. So you get to guidance is like I'm going to help you uh, with this check. So like if you're doing a perception check or you're doing a oh okay 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 okay. You know, so if I was like um, if you're trying to sneak I into a camp, tell you, I, I can tell you what's north because of some you know i don't know maybe the, the way movie. the way i use guidance in the Ooh, previous I game the sun is moving i was a druid in the previous game and i would give guidance to the the guy who's sneaking into the camp so mm. that he gets his you know um i mean you can use your guidance now to see if you can get the direction that's interesting i mean yeah. yeah let's do it i'm gonna drink the fucking thing Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the vial and try to help us find north. I mean, where? Because where are we going? Yeah, you're just kind of trying to figure out what you want to do. Now, um, Lone Star can help you um, guys with the ship. I'm, I, I'm assuming he's communicated, but you don't know where you are, um, and you don't necessarily know uh where you are so like you don't know what direction you're you're necessarily in there um, is this there is so, a sun i will say that there's northeast um, west here lone star which direction do you think we should go in i have this uh guidance water that i can drink that could potentially help us find which way we're trying to go well we have well before you use that we have no idea where we are or what we're trying to do where where are we trying to go? Where did I mean at this point? Are well, we, we we can we can get this boat seaworthy, but where are we trying to go? Ah, that's fair. I mean, I guess we would have to try to. Find I mean, one if we skulls that were one of the last two skulls, right? I mean, we can follow the sun and just like Hold go on. in one direction, go west. Argo. The okay. sun is like where it is back home. Just follow it as it sets and just go west. We find land, we find land. All right, let's do it. Now, if we have no idea where we're going and we know we don't want to stay right here, or do we want to stay right here? Because mm -hmm. is this the only way out of this place? There are a lot are we of in just a water world. <laughs> that, oh, uh, no, we do. We, you, have, we, you have your necklace. We're good. Let's fucking do this. Yeah. yeah. What's the next one? We can always oh, you're good. We can always leave. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Um, I'm gonna reach in my bag and pull out this adamantium breastplate with some green grass on the backside. I'm gonna throw it at Tevrit. Say, well, how about this then instead? Hmm. This is very interesting. I like this. Where where'd you get this? From uh from a, a an old dear companion. He uh he fell uh protecting me. 
What a good friend. May I ask who it was? It was Ivo. His name was Sir Ivo. Mm. Ivo Lightbringer. Well, thank you, Ivo, for the armor. No, it's 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 from me. It's from me, Talos, to you. Yeah. Interesting. I will accept. So west, let's go west. All right, west it is. West. Um. All right, so we're headed west. Give me a. Who is going to? I have to remember to do this. Um, traveling. Mike. Um, Mike. Yes. Yeah. Um. This is your first. Um, big role for the group here. I've never done this before, but I'm going to say that uh, oh, before we get into that, who's the who's the captain? Let's, let's Lone at, Star. Yeah, Lone Star is the captain. Okay, so would... each each <laughs> ship each ship has an officer. You have you have mates and you have officers. Um, who's the captain? Lone Star would say he would be the captain. Does anyone object to that? No. Guy guy seems to be proficient. Okay. Who would like to be first mate? So let me describe this to you. This This specialist keeps the crew's morale up by providing close supervision, encouragement, and discipline. A first mate benefits from a high charisma score, as well as a proficiency with intimidation and persuasion skills. Hmm. Lone Star, he is uh, chaotic, so he would say, <laughs> you guys choose. I'm pretty sure Mike's... I am pretty uh, intimidating in persuasion. Those seem like right up my alley. Okay. Um, does anyone object to the barbarian being the morale guy? No. <laughs> okay. Um, you have the um, you have grass growing on your back now. Boat swing. <laughs> I like boat green. swing. I want to see the I want to see the walking lawn. The green boat question. swing provides technical advice to the captain and crew, and uh, and leads repair and maintenance efforts. A good boatswain has a high strength score as well as proficiency with carpenter's tools. You don't necessarily need that. You need a quartermaster. Quartermaster plots the ship's course relying on knowledge and nautical charts. Um, no, and study of weather. Um, high wisdom is good for that. Um, and nature skills. Um, The ship's surgeon tends to injuries, keeps illness from spreading throughout the ship. A medical check is nice with that intelligence score. And you also have, and Mike, your character will like this, the cook. The ship's cook uh, works with the limited ingredients aboard the ship, like meats, which you found downstairs, to make meals. Um, And a constitution uh, score is good. Uh, for that, when you find uh, people you need to feed and make sure that they don't get sick and poisoned. So you have uh, the captain, who is Lone Star, the first mate, who is going to be a brutal first mate, a barbarian named uh, Tevrit, um, who would like to be the boatswain, quartermaster, surgeon, or cook? Be the Order master. Go surgeon. All right. So there is no uh, repair guy and there's no uh, cook at the moment. Um, not that you can't do it, but uh, you don't need those at the very moment. Okay. I will send you details about those guys at a later point in time. When All right. I, wait, hold on. I'll do the repair person. I didn't actually hear the repair person. I, I don't want to be the same. Um, I would rather be the. Uh, Boatswain um, provides technical advice to the captain and crew and leads repair and maintenance efforts, um, as well as uh, a proficiency in carpenter's tools. 
So we have no chef. Yeah, that's Aaron. All right, so when I do checks and stuff, when I do checks and stuff, Aaron, you, you can choose whatever you want here. For, I'm sorry, say that again? So you have the boat swing, surgeon, or cook is left. Boat swing? It's boat a boat swing. Boat swing. What's the boat swing? Yeah, that, sure. That's the care. one that does that. That He's like the repair guy. Sure, the, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, we'll do um, boat swing. You, how's your athletics? You have a good athletics, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm out here. I'm running around. But he's mm-hmm. dexterous, too. Your athletics sucks, but you'll... Yeah. you'll... <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right, that's fine. We'll make it work. Um, okay, do you have uh, carpenter's tools in your bag? Uh, carpenter's tools? Mm-hmm. Let me check. I'm not 100% at the carpenter's tools. Well, when we, when we get to the repair, oh. we'll talk about it. Okay, so you guys are going to head towards what? The, the west? Yep, we're going to go west. All right, first mate, which is Mike. Nope, that's not Mike. Um, <laughs> quartermaster, good. quartermaster. Give me a... Uh, I thought I was the first mate. You're the first mate. You're the person that's in charge of discipline. Um, quartermaster, you're going to be studying the stuff. And uh, Anyway, so did you guys figure out where, where, which way was west? Yes, right? We're just yeah, following we look up at the sun, follow the sun. Okay. Wait till um, it starts to set and follow. Okay, perfect. Um, Mike, roll me a D8. Uh, okay. You guys are sailing this ship um the best you can with the limited crew that you have um yeah you're doing a pretty good job and you are struggling along blah 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 and you who's on i guess who's captain lone star uh give me a perception check actually everyone give me a perception check Nope, that was a crack. Uh, I, got crack. A I got a zero. <laughs> uh, 16. 14. I fall off the boat. Yeah, we'll get to yours in a second. Um, okay, so you guys see um, your guys are going for about a day. Uh, no, half, half a day. Um, and you see something in the distance. And there's a ship coming in your direction. Ship ho. Um, and what do you do when you see this ship? It is not coming in your general. It's coming in the general direction. It's going to shrink the ship down. You guys will just be on board. Um, it is... Uh, where are you? Right there. And I will dye it red. Um, you see a ship coming, sailing in your, what looks like to be your direction. You're not a hundred percent sure if it's, if it's spotted you yet. Um, is the, is and, there a place to like raise a, a little sail, like a flag? um there there is it would be at the front at the at the front here the front tip i guess right or where would that normally no it would be at the top at the top of the uh you'd have to climb up to the top of the whatever that is the bow the stern. i'm you know it's gonna be hilarious is that by the end of this i'm gonna be an expert in what ships are called <laughs> <laughs> seeing, um, this, seeing this other ship next. Yeah, I need to know what the stern of the ship. No, the ship. Uh, no, you get you. Yeah, you can climb up the uh, trunk or whatever the hell that thing is called. The mast. The hull. Um, the, 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 the mast. <laughs> the mast. So Lonzo is going to climb up the the webbing up up to go up to the poop deck or the crow's nest, and he's going to use his magical tinkering 
to grab a piece of fabric and create a static visual effect of a like a quarantine flag the standard quarantine flag that uh, he would use normal sailing and hang that from wherever he would normally do it. So the quarantine flag would mean don't come. Is to... Yeah, it's typically stay away because there's potential uh, uh, disease or some other crap on board. Why don't we throw up the white flag and we can take their ship? We can surprise them. Okay, as you this, guys get this, closer, the ship the ship now moves. Your ship um, has a quarantine. Um, their ship, let me see. Um, we, they, we can always chase them. But this gives us a, a time to think. Yeah, there is no uh, quartermaster. Um, you, you're, the weather does not permit for a very... Um, stealthy like approach here there's no fog or anything so um unfortunately this ship is going to uh perceive that you are there um and it's going to turn uh, and start to head towards you your ship by the way and i will give you i will send you the details your ship um moves uh five miles per hour that's 120 miles per day how many knots is that? I don't, I don't know. Uh, cargo capacity is a hundred tons. I, I will be. I mean, if you guys are lugging lugging like four dragons in a in a in a mountain from the from the bottom of the ocean, we'll we'll talk about that. Um, How much? Did you say a hundred tons? Hmm. That's decent. Um, it can't be poisoned. As an action on its turn, a sailing ship can move using its helm. It can also uh, give me a perception check, um, Tevrit, since you're so adamant about fighting these these guys. Uh, a three. Um, you see something that looks like it can shoot something. And you see another thing <laughs> also looks like you could shoot something, but you're going to ask your friends and their passive uh, perception will let you know that there's a ballista on, on deck. Um, and there's also, I don't even know what this is, a, a mangonel. Mung, <laughs> uh, it's a ranged attack weapon um, that can shoot. Uh, well, I think this is I think this one shoots out the boulders. That's what I think. As as the first mate, we cannot fight this ship at sea. So we either board let them board us and kill them all or somehow meet a treaty. The Manganel is a is a, is a catapult. You guys have uh ammunition down if you need it. Um I will send you that information, the clippings from this at a different point in time. Um, if you are moving and shooting, it it makes it harder to shoot, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. All right, so the you guys have ready your stations. That's what you get for this round. Um, this ship is going to move closer. Those weapons were on their ship. Those are on our ship. <laughs> Those are on your ship, yeah. Lone Star um, would turn the boat so that we're sideways and have as much uh exposure for our weapons to fire at them as possible okay so can we can we see anything on their uh on their deck um you see that give me a perception check uh Tepper. well our our captain's up in the crow's nest he feel like he could see a lot i would uh, he's, he's i would have slid back down to to turn the uh to turn the wheel uh, I got 17. Um, you see a, uh, you see some, what looks like, would you know what an elf is? I think you wouldn't know what an elf is, your, your character. Um, you see what looks like to be small, weak, thin, scrawny creatures uh, called elves, um, in your opinion. Um, are they, are they, 
No, um, and one of them. No, one of them is standing standing on the on the on the uh, tip of the boat, and he's going like this. He's like he's waving a white flag. He's like. Um, you what you what did you roll? What did you roll? Seventeen. Um, you don't see there that there's anything of an immediate threat. Um, they seem to be uh, waving the flag of, um, you know, friendship, sort of the white flag of no, the truce. It's waving a white flag, hmm. you know, and he's like so eager to speak. He's he's like. He looks like this. Oh, oh, hello. He can almost make him out in the air. Bone Star yells fire. We need that ship. We can kill them all on board. Well, then fire at them. I disagree. Quartermaster, the sir. I disagree. Look at them. We could kill them all easily and take their boat. Well, let's do them both. They're coming well, right at us. Firing torpedoes and, and boulders. We could damage their boat more than our um, boat. The ship, the sails, uh, the, sh the sail goes down. Um, he see it, he says, hold, hold, hold. Um, do you see that there's uh, three people um, on deck um what well, looked like to be people from your perspective um lone star from your passive perception um he says ahoy there yo ahoy matey hello hello <laughs> where are you from are you friendly i see do you need uh supplies i see you're quarantined what disease are you bringing? I have, um, perhaps I have something to help your disease. What seems to be the issue here? We're not sick. We, uh, we, 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 we just got here. We're stranded. We didn't want to just trying to scare away anyone who might, uh, do us some harm. Well, so, allow... uh, uh, me to introduce myself. I am Stike, the sailor captain of this ship. Back at home, they know me as Stike. Are you a are you a traitor? Uh, to who are you referring? Mm -hmm. Do you are you selling goods? What is your what is your profession? What is your why are you here? Well, I'm merely a messenger. I've been sent here on a canoe with a bag over my head with a message. They put me on this ship and I was sent all the way out here with a message, a message for the ship's captain. I'll telepathically uh, tell him, what is it? Are you the captain of this uh, C CF-8? And um, Sprock, give me a perception check. Where are you exactly, Sprock, on the ship? Uh, I'm in that top room, right? I haven't moved. Yeah. You see, uh, give me a perception check. Natty 20, baby. You see um, a see plate. Uh, you see a plate. It's gold, spectacular, very rich. Uh, it's got diamonds in it. Um, it has the lettering CF8 um, on on it that's on the deck that you're standing next to it. Um, this guy just said, are you the captain of the CF8? I have a message for it. 
and you can obviously discern that um, perhaps it's not the captain. Right. But that was a natural 20? Yeah, natty 20. Um, a, you'll be rewarded shortly. Um, or maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. Um, he says, I ask you again, are you, are you the, are you the captain of the, uh, CF8? I don't know what that was in my head, but, um, us elves don't like to play that way. Let's just be honest with each other. No, I'm not the captain. Looks like your ship could use, uh, a little bit of wood. Yeah, I could use like, some nice. Well, lucky for you, <laughs> I have some extra. Um, he says, do you mind if I come aboard and bring you some wood? Perhaps you can use this and make your repairs. I will be able to tell the captain what it is that he needs to know. This message must be told in person. Mm, whoa. Yeah, I don't like it. What is uh, your message? Yeah, how about we take the wood and then I'll use um, my mage hand to like go grab the planks from him. And you can continue to tell us what you need to tell us from there. You're still telling us directly. You don't understand. I am the messenger. And these gentlemen over here will kill me if I don't get tell it to you in person. It must be exchanged between me and the captain. Anyone else can see. Maybe the captain wants to come here. Maybe you want to jump in the water and swim. <laughs> and tread water. <laughs> but I have to tell him in person. Hmm. What do you think, Lone Star? I'll leave it to you. I'll take the I'll, I'll the, grab the planks that the mage hand brings to me. The, 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 the wood said, would he, be uh... he offers he offers the wood. He says, please, uh, you you may however you want. It's easier for us if you well, use no. your magic tricks. Let's let's, uh, let's just bring these. How does that boat look uh, in good shape condition? It's a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller. Yeah. Okay. Like, would it fit all five of us? Um, if there yeah, were no yeah. one else on there, yes, yes, yeah, if yes, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, let's bring let's uh board these uh come on, come right next to us and we'll uh we'll exchange and I'll uh telepathically tell Teverit. Hold on, before you make your move here. Um, no, 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 I'm going to yeah. tell him I need to hear this information. Once we get what we need, I'll give you a signal and then you can have some fun. Mm. I like this. Are, are we, but are this, we, are we so this says, He says, he says uh, why don't you use your magic to take the planks that you need? Um, do you guys need uh, you? Uh, what was your name again? He points to Sprock. Sprock. Sprock, would you like some uh, nails and perhaps uh, some adhesive? It helps with the repair. I hear this uh, sap of the long leaf from the forest of Everglade adheres underwater. I don't know. I'm not the one that repairs the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak to your Spark to the swain. quartermaster, right? Who's the, the boat swain? Who's the boat swain? Aaron, is that you? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Who's the boat swain here? Yeah. It's me. That's why I took the plank. Well, Aranus, uh, well, no, I'm sorry. What was your name, uh, Boatswain? Do you have a name or should I just call you Boatswain? Uh, you can call me Aranus. Aranus, uh, I give you here this wood. You Thank you for taking it uh, from me. Um, I'm going to also <laughs> give you this uh, uh, sap from the forest of Everglade. Oh, nice. Is it it's, an adhesive? It's an adhesive. 
it will cure underwater, which may be useful for you here. Um, the sap is rich with the moisture from the dragons. Uh, apparently, there are dragons there that heat up the underground and heat up the uh, forest and make them uh, excrete a very rich sap, which we sailors in this region like to use. Um, anyway, all you have to do is paint it on with a brush, and it seems to work. And also have these nails. And let me, there are... brushes. let me have some brushes for the sap, too. There are dragons. Indeed. Under the ground of the Everglade. Well, everyone knows everyone knows the myth of the forest dragons in Everglade. Hmm. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, who's the captain? And you who, are, sir. Where where is the Everglade Forest in relation to where we are right now? Well, that's the thing. I'm just a messenger. They put me on this canoe. They put. They blindfolded uh -huh. me. They put me on a ship, and sailed me out here to find the captain of the CF8. Well, uh... I don't know exactly where I am. My inkling, and he looks back at the people on the ship that are pointing that these big brutes. My inkling is that it's to the west. Um, because. <laughs> That's where how, you guys how, were. That's that's where you guys were headed. You know, but how many brutes are next to him? Two, two, two that you can see. I'm going to um, imprison one of them in my necklace with the purple worm. Nice. A uh, Constitution saving throw for the brute. DC 18 for a brute. Nice. And I'm and if it succeeds, I'm going to tell the worm. Feast, my friend, for this is a beautiful day. Um, everyone <laughs> is going to roll initiative. <laughs> and da -da 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 -da. Uh, 14. Oof. Eight. Wait, wait. And I'll, 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 I'll tell um, Tevrit, leave this uh, messenger alone. I need to talk to him first. Hmm. Yes, Captain. Oh, what am I rolling? I don't know what I'm rolling. I need to roll initiative, right? Yeah, roll initiative. <laughs> I'm gonna find my monster. I'm just gonna look up the biggest brute I could. Just kidding. <laughs> well, he has to fight a purple worm. It's like here's a guy that's helping us fix our boat. Let's fucking kill this guy. Yeah, fuck this guy. Nineteen. Oh, no, He's it's walking a brute. Up and helping us fix our boat, huh? It's a brute threatening this guy, trying to help us fix our boat. That's, that's true. Trying to help our friend. Supposed friend. Friend that we're clearly going to take captive. Friend yeah, that might too. feed my worm. He doesn't act right. Um, How is, what's his name? Okay. Doesn't he just tie everyone up? Uh, this guy, uh, okay, so Brute 1 gets a 16, and Brute 2 gets a 7. What did you guys get on your initiative? Eight. Natural 20. 14. Chris got a 20. Um, Fucking 19, bitches. Wait, I get nice. advantage. Hold on. I got a 15, actually. Sorry. I got a 19. Mike got a 15. Aaron, she got a 14? Yep. Okay. All right, Chris, uh, you're up first. Oh, and let me spin for my other guy. We got a four. The uh, what was his name? Strip, strip, strike, 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 strike the sailor captain. Strike yes. the sailor. He got a uh, strike. The sailor captain got a four. Okay, so Chris, you're Lone Star, Lone Star would telepathically tell everyone. Leave this messenger alone. I need to talk to him, and then I'll necklace some imprisonment one of the goons. Uh, constitution saving throw DC 18. For the uh, brutes? Yeah, one of the brutes. And I'll tell and I'll whisper to the sky, you're safe with me. Uh, 
Okay. You're going to tell, well, let's do the attack first, then we'll talk about what you're going to um, tell this guy, because you can't do both at the same time, unless you're um, the fuck. Okay, so uh, I'm DC activating what? a magic item for the, the constitution save. DC 18. Okay. All right, hybrid. Here we go, baby. Constitution. What do I have to get? 18. Wow. Fuck, it rolled up to an 18 on my cord and then it rolled back. Fuck. It wouldn't have done that if I had just left the cord. 15 on brute who? Brute one or two? One. Whoever's closer. Okay. Uh, brute one fails. It goes into my necklace with a purple worm. Great. We'll have to figure out. Thanks. That. Um, okay. Uh, who who has been told to, his mouth. to to feast? Yeah, right. So, can you um, roll me a, a uh, invest in? I'm sorry, a uh, initiative for a purple initiative worm. Initiative for a purple worm. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Um, oh fuck! I rolled an 18 plus whatever it is. Let me pull up a purple worm. Oh, I was man. not prepared. I'm purple sorry. Worm. Did purple worm have damage? <laughs> oh man, I gotta. This is where I hate this crap. Did purple worm have damage? Worm battle. Worm battle. Come on, purple worm. worm. We'll Did say purple... he he purple... has taken some damage. So I threw a shark in there with him too. All right, I'm gonna get purple worm and uh, half damage, but that, that that's probably okay. that's like a hundred. Uh, Something stupid. Yeah, yeah that's like you look up. You look up purple. <laughs> You look up purple worm. And yeah, I got purple that. worm. He's got he's got half of two hundred and forty seven HP. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this guy mm -hmm. shoots in on his turn. He'll come back. Um, Initiative eighteen. That's, that's ridiculous. Thank you, Margo. <laughs> um, and it's now Jake's turn. Oh. We're still in initiative because the other guy is not in his thing, right? Yeah, no, there's three guys on there. Um, there's two two of them that, that wanna that you're trying to attack. So uh Chris just swallowed someone up in his necklace. Um and because he failed the constitution save, and he's a weak piece of shit bitch. Um <laughs> and uh are ships still moving? Uh, no, they're, no. I they're, thought we docked up. The, the, sa the sail, the sails are down. They're they're sails floating. Down. But they're, but yeah. they're not attached yet, right? They, we've just no, been, no. We've no I, Aaron, Aaron was taking stuff and moving it over. Oh, I, no, I thought we came close because I had yeah, to, it's very to be close. To, well, well, I would have pulled us close so that I need to be able to touch, right? Touch the guy. Oh, you got to touch the guy to put him in your thing. Yeah, yeah. I would have waited. I, I would have waited to. Across. Yeah, I would have waited till we're like we can jump across so we're like helping pull stuff on. That exchange with Aaron um with the sap would have happened about five feet away. You know, he would have held held on to the, the side and, and handed over to, to Aaron. Okay. All right, perfect. Yeah, we would have he would have jumped on next to the guy so we could whisper to him. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're close. See how useful I am. What was uh, the worms' uh, initiative? It rolled an eighteen initiative. Oh my god. Okay. I I know. I'm what sorry. was the name of your of your object? The necklace of imprisonment. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Jake, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to use detect thoughts on our our guy who we've been talking to here. Ooh. So. Nice. So for the duration, uh, I can read the thoughts of certain creatures when you cast a spell and as your action on each turn until the spell ends, you can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet in front of you. Uh, if the creature has an intelligence of three or lower or doesn't speak any English, the creature is unaffected, but this guy clearly has a higher intelligence of three. Uh, initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what it's most on its mind in that moment. 
So is it like, as an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature's thoughts or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. If you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. All right, so at first, I'm just getting the surface thoughts of this guy's mind. Is he, like, nervous? Is he fucking, like, trying to hide some shit? Is he, like, scared? Please don't let them catch me. Please don't let them catch me. Um, he's saying? scared. He's scared. Yeah, he's scared. He's very, very... Um... He's like, oh, I hate when this happens. Um, and you know that he's a hired messenger um, for whatever reason out in the, I guess, I actually probably for very good reason, um, it's hard to send uh, a adequate message um, out in the ocean um, without cell phones. So these guys uh, hire messengers to go on ships um, and deliver them. And he has had his fair share of uh, these types of. Well, things. I'm going to ask him who he who he was hired by. And inherently, it says questions verbally directed at the target creature naturally shape the course of its thoughts. So, spell the spell is particularly effective as part of interrogation. Wait, so basically, say that again. If, so basically, I'm what ask him like, who hired him, and even if he's like trying to come up with a lie. He still thinks of who hot hired him because he's trying to protect that person. Yes, that. So what you're telling me is yep. that I need to come up with a backstory right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who hired this guy to bring him this message, bring us this message. Um, he has he, no idea. He, he in his mind. <laughs> he has he, no he, idea. He, you... He, in his mind, um, you're at, are you asking or you're looking? You're looking into his mind. Oh, I'm, I'm asking verbally. And oh. so because I asked verbally, he's forced to think about it. Oh, um, so you see him. Do you see these things or are you just communicating with him? I read his mind. Okay, so you see him sitting in a bar. Um, the bar uh at a in brockville no you wish that'd be hilarious it, it, the brock was comes to give you a message you're like a uh, hold off um uh you see him sitting in a bar at a tavern in a uh in like a port um, drinking at the bar and someone comes over and says uh, message for hire and you see him and he looks over at this guy with a nine perception check and he sees that this guy has a um, it's sort of a goblin looking character with a cloak um, let me write that down goblin um, and he <laughs> says uh, the uh, uh, the master has a message he wants to deliver. Um, are you for hire? And he says, well, you know what? Fuck it, I am. My last mission, mission didn't go so well. I didn't get paid, so I'll do what I have. What's, what do I have to do? And he says, just wear this. Um, and the goblin uh, hands out a, a mask. He says, well, I only, I only take messages for people who, are, who I know. Who, who's asking me to deliver the message and uh the goblin says master keith master keith master keith oh yeah master queef master keith <laughs> master queef master keith. um and uh that's who's delivering the message cool nice backstory on the spot that was impressive thank yeah, you i like it thank you um why is he sending this message to us what's this message jake that was your fucking action for this turn <laughs> <laughs> uh worm <laughs> purple worm you get to go now <laughs> the purple worm <laughs> is going to attack this thing okay i found my purple worm go ahead um well, it's opening I am going to multi-attack, one with its bite and one with its stinger. The first is a plus 14 to hit. So that's a 
30 to hit. So I'm just going to roll this damage because it's faster. For no, I'll just take the average 22 piercing damage. 32? Um, 22. Yeah, okay. Is the tar- is a target large or smaller? He's he's uh, lar- he's large. Okay, uh, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, six. He is now swallowed, and being by the worm. A swallowed creature is blinded and restrained and has total cover from attacks outside, and it takes uh, 21 acid damage at the start of each of my turns. Nice. If I take 30 or more damage from a single turn, I need to make a con save or I'll vomit him up. Great. I'll keep track of that. That's it. Um, And... Okay. So this guy is not feeling very good. Uh, Route one gets to go. No, it's actually who's who's 18 now? Oh, that's the worm. Route one uh, is going to go. He's going to try to break free. Actually, you know what? He's going to slice this worm. He's going to take out a multi attack with two claws he has. And he's going okay. to go and he has advantage on the attack because he's inside. Um, he's got a 14. No, it's a uh my, for the first for the first attack he has a 25 and that for will the second hit attack he has a 23 and he's they gonna do one one d6 plus four each um that's a seven and a nine slashing damage inside so there. that's 16 yeah okay um what is the worm at uh I'll, I'll ask that later um yeah. and then that's his he's gonna yell ah but luckily for you he's a hybrid brute and he can drink uh, he can breathe uh water and air so he's he's okay um it's mike's turn mm. i'm at 108 for the worm <laughs> okay where the other brute is across the ship somewhere. Yeah, he's at the stern. You could uh, get to him with with your with your walking and jumping, but you'd have to roll for the a uh, dex. Okay, so this might have been a mistake putting this armor on, uh, but I will go ahead and sprint and jump across onto their boat. Okay, I need to roll dex. Just for the. Jumping across the ships, there's about five feet there. Is that as athletics or is that dexterity? Uh, is it, dexterity. Is that a save or just a normal? I guess it's uh, a it, it'll be a save. Actually, no, it's a check. Sorry. I'm at disadvantage. Uh, fourteen. Like a save is going to be like I throw a fireball down a hallway and you want to jump out of the way. A dex uh, check is going to be okay. I wanted to jump across the boats. What'd you get? Aren't they aren't they both the same plus? Um, if you're proficient in certain types of, like if you're proficient in acrobatics versus, uh, what's the other one? Like stealth gives you a little bit of a whatever. Uh, okay. We can get to that in that later. What'd you get? Do you have at? Oh. I I have athletics, but I I rolled two. Because the armor gave me disadvantage. I rolled uh my low one was 14. Um okay, so that you jump across that you make it. Congratulations. Okay. And I will run up to him, this brute, and I will attack. And as part of my attack, I get to attack twice. Uh, which I can figure out here in a second. Where my inventory is gone. There it is. Uh, so let's do 18. 18 damage. 18, does that hit? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it hits. Uh, so that's for 
Wow. 11. And then a natty 20. Okay. That's a crit. Now I, I don't really know how this works, but. So the crit will be, what is your damage? Uh, it was 2d plus 6, and now this is 2d. It'll be 4d6 plus whatever. 2d10 2 D plus 6. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, they rolled two dice right there. Uh, 15, 16, 17 plus 11. 28. 28, okay. Not doing so hot, that guy. Um, I think Eric, you get a bonus action, do I not? You get what? The bonus action? Uh, you're not in rage. Do you, do you have a regular bonus action? No, but you're attacked. What does it say under bonus action? Go over to actions and click. Bonus action says uh, I could frenzy or I could rage. I feel like my action, though, action. No, you, you don't have a bonus uh, bonus attack if that's what you're asking. You have to. You can use it to rage right now, but I don't know if it's a. It's up to you if you want. What do you want to do? Okay. I guess I will do nothing. Um, Aaron, you're up. Cool. Um, how far is uh? I can't. I can't really tell. Oh shit! Sorry. Spencer, yeah. Sorry. Spencer, okay. Spencer, take take off four damage that I did. Okay. Sorry. How close am I to um the guard, and how close am I to um the messenger? Because I can't. You... Really you you are five you are about half the distance between your full movement will be the guard your half movement will be the messenger okay um so <laughs> i'm gonna run up to the guard and smack him in the head with my sword nice. um you will have advantage on this because he um he's engaged he's engaged yeah let's uh let's see what we get all right 19 um that hits oh let's do it six damage 11 and then i'm gonna sneak attack him Twenty three. So 23 exactly. Total. Describe your kill. Jesus, I just did the math. <laughs> I was like, eh. <laughs> um, I run up onto, I run up, I hop over the side of the boat, I pull out my sword, give it a little twirl, and I just take the guy's head off. Um <laughs> okay. Uh this guy's head pops off. Uh blood spewing out all over the place from this brute. Um, brute two's turn is over because he's dead. Um, <laughs> what is it? I slash him across the neck and then I stab him in the back and twist. Uh, the elf named Strike is going to sit there going, Oh my goodness, and he's going to move back two feet from the direction that Aaron uh, was fighting in. Um, and it's now Chris's turn. I'll cuddle this guy into my arms and say, uh, so tell me what you need to tell me. <laughs> um, and as he starts to answer, I'm going to use my detect my uh, ability of detect thoughts so that he can hear the story he's trying to remember from who it was originally told from. So you're going to so try... Lo I'm, Lonesome wants to try and hear the message without knowing it, but hear the message from the goblin. From Master Keith. Yeah. So he's Roll. trying to hear the the full message, not like a translation that might have gotten mixed up along the way. Okay. Roll me a uh, what? No. Roll me. A, so you can you could need to make a uh, a save. I need to find it. Here, where is it? One moment. Hold, please. 
detect thoughts, a, because I'm going to use the dive deeper function. So you need to make a wisdom save. For me to do that. Okay. Wisdom save on a sea elf. Um, okay. DC 16. Um, Great idea. <laughs> he uh, he got Asked the a, questions. He end. got a he got a four. Okay. Okay. Um, so you you asked him a question. Now he, you're going to try to go back to the scene. Yeah, I want to try and like hear the full story. Okay. Not something he might have uh, um, messed up along the way. Master Keith, um, so the goblin uh, hands uh, uh, the rag to, <laughs> um, to Strike, and Strike says, okay, Strike the sailor captain never says no. He's one of the most infamous messengers around, talking to himself in third person because he's um, he's already drunk here. Um, he says, "One more drink, and I'll put this mask on." Go ahead, tell me what your what your message is. And um, just then, the goblin hits him in the face and knocks him out. And he wakes up on the on the on the canoe, um, and the goblin says, "Master Keith will give you." Uh, his uh, a reward of sorts for that. I'm sorry I had to do that, but I had to get you out of there. And I cannot tell you the message uh, in front of people at a bar. The best way to do it was to, to knock you out and pretend to throw a ruse like it was a local bar fight. Um, so we knocked you out and it was a local bar fight and we snuck you out on our backs and put you in this sail canoe uh, headed to the ship um, where you are to give this message to the captain of CF8 and the message is what is taking so long? We need our gelatinous cubes to cleanse the tomb we found underneath the town of Morkai. Hurry up and we'll double the reward. So essentially the message was hurry up and double the reward what's taking so long. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Stike. Message, message is heard and received. Which way is this town? Um, here. He says, I believe it's probably westward. I'm not 100% sure. I just so, uh, they un just unblindfolded me. So you want to ride with us now? Uh, no, thank you. So you're going to ride with us now? You're going to want to rethink that, buddy. <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, I've seen my fair share of water wars, and I know which way this is going. Also, uh, Chris, um, yeah. before we get into that, roll your, your worm. The worm damage is 21. I was just going to take the average of it. He 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 dies. This guy's dead. Okay. So the worm get, consumes okay. him. Okay. Um, what was it called? What, the worm? No, the thing he ate. Oh, a... Um, a brute. A brute. Oh, a half... A half... Hold on, I have it here. <laughs> A hybrid brute. It's like a, a brute, an amphibian brute. Medium humanoid amphibian brute. Okay. Um, Ooh. Sorry. Uh, he says, you know what, um, gentlemen? Uh, I'll ride with you. I will ride with you under one uh, circumstance. What is that? Let's burn the ship to the ground. 
Which one? The one you're on or the one we're on? The shitty one I'm on. Mine, mine is uh, oh. with repairs. Yours will be ready to go. Perfect. Let's do it. Do you know how to do these repairs? Uh, n- no. I'm a, I'm, I know. I'm just, Lonesar I'm, knows how to do them. I'm yeah. a messenger. I'm just a messenger. You sit back, relax, and I'll pull something out of my bag. Roll a d20. Nice. And I got a 15 animal handling check for the worm. It's a six. Uh, where is it? I give you a short sword. Uh, I know you're not a fighter, but it's good to have on you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, let me say um, thank you. Um, He takes a little little glass out of his... uh, robe it seems to be um a little drink and he takes a sip they told me this is good have you guys ever tried uh brock la hall yeah made by great friends of mine have you uh have you heard their their uh great message that they're Mm. they're they're preaching not yet uh, you'll hear it soon. Don't worry. Excellent. Look forward to it. Um, let's burn this this ship down. <laughs> Does anyone want to burn some shit? Fuck Keith. Fuck yeah. Keith. Um, Tevrit. Burn it to the you're ground. Still, you're still aboard. You heard this whole commotion. Um, give me a perception check. Fourteen. You see, um, there's uh, some oils uh, next to you at the hull. Uh, there's um, some piles of hay. Seems like that's it. Hmm? That's uh, at, on the top of this thing. I will I will kick over the oil on top of the hay. We need a match. I guess I could burn it, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste my fire. Does anyone have fire? Um, I don't think anyone has fire. Uh, did you say that to the group? I said it out loud. Strike is going to say, what do you mean? Fire! Yeah, no fire over here. What do you mean, waste your fire? Jesus Christ. All right, I can can look over and breathe from my attack. Are you on the ship? I am on the ledge, and I'm going to jump to the other side and then turn and breathe fire. Okay, so give me a deck save first off. Mike is going to remind you guys that he's a dragonborn. <laughs> Perfect. Ten. Uh, you jump off. It just makes it you were to fall in the water. That would have been fucking hilarious. Um, you jump <laughs> off, and what do you do? I turn back, and I breathe fire on the boat. The boat... Uh, the oil explodes and it burns and you guys um are you setting sail now or what's the we're gonna finish the repairs um the boat okay you as you finish your repairs um give me your max hp for the ship is no longer 300 it's going to be 280 but you have made your repairs Every time okay. you, every time you do uh, repair work like that, you're gonna lose some of your uh, max. Your max. Okay. So we're at full two eighty. You're at full. You're at full two eighty. Um, and by the time you're done, mm-hmm. that that has sunk into the ground. I love how you guys didn't go down into the depths of the ship to investigate. It could be there. Um, where would our, you guys like ship? to go? No, the other ship. <laughs> Oh. What was the so so fuck you for making me do all that all that ad lib? What's the um, what's the next move here? That was great though. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe that's so we're we're, we're going west. We're gonna Are go we... 
under the tombs of Morkai. Going west. Are we are we going towards this uh, this Evergrade forest? Well, he just that, told you where he, he doesn't know. Just keep in mind, Strike doesn't know wh- exactly what direction he came from. He just knows that. Well, n- neither do we. Yeah. So okay. we are going west Follow anyway. All right. Yeah. Give me um, who is uh, the direction guy here? Let's see. Who's the see officers? Isn't Sprock with the maps? Uh, quartermaster. Roll me a D. One, two, three. A D8 taken from a two. I had three lists of zero to a hundred random um, random events that I created this list of shit with. Go ahead and um, roll me a D8. Yeah, three. Yeah. Is it Brock? It's not Brock. Um, okay, so I love you, Aaron. <laughs> um, you guys are sailing along, and I guess we'll give the captain a you know what? Um, Mike, give me a perception check. Oh, a natty one, it's another zero. Uh, you're looking, you're looking at the ocean. And um, a little bit of water splashes on your face, and it feels cold. Ooh. Looks like there's um, water out there, boys. Uh, the you know what, my guy is going to roll a seven. Oh, uh, he looks over. He says, "Oh, he comes out of his nap. He feels good." Um, Strike just sits there, takes his um, long pipe out, and he starts to smoke a little bit of this. Um, uh, weed, I guess, or tobacco, if you if you will. Um, and he says, "Oh my God, am I seeing things? Or oh, do we have? Uh, I cannot believe it. Look, sea pixies." Um, Lone Star, give me a perception check. You're the captain. He's standing next to you. Um, you were the captain. Ooh, he would be ten. talking to you. Um, okay, you see, and roll me, um, roll me a d one d six. A two. All right, you see two sea pixies um, swimming next to the boat. Uh, well, I gotta find up even. I don't even know if there's a fucking uh stat for these guys. Uh, no, there isn't. I just have to use the normal. Okay. Um, and this the pixies are going to roll their perception check. The sea pixies are floating up and uh, around, uh, but they roll a one, so they don't they don't see the ship. I heard they're fun, Sea Pixies, Strike says. Full of information. Information? Oh, they like information. They might be full of them. Well, I'll uh, call down to the the first mate in the boat swing and the quartermaster. (laughs) Yell at them that there's some uh, Pixies over the side that might have some information. You want to go fishing? Say we we form a lasso. <clears throat> How much do you think a pixie weighs? I bet it's not more than ten pounds. I tried to use my um, uh, magic hand. Uh, mage my mage hand. hand. Yeah, sorry, my mage hand. To um, grab, catch to a grab pixie. it. Yeah, to like grab one. All right, he's going to use a deck save, and he has advantage on. Um, spells against him um, and other magic effects. So, what is your spell? What do I have to beat? Um, it's a utility. 
it's not really there's no what are you sorry what were you asking um he's trying to use he's trying to gra- use his mage hand to grab a pixie but pixies have um advantage uh on saving throws against uh spells so i'm going to use a dex yeah so it's against just... his spell save dc i guess and what's your what's his spell save dc uh 16 okay well that one that one was a fucking eight wow and that one was a nine so you grab a pixie a sea pixie <laughs> the uh other sea pixie that um uh sees you grab him is gonna say hey <laughs> what are you doing here I'm gonna, I'm in, gonna... in, in, in minotaur in minotaur I'm gonna have my <laughs> hand bring the pixie back to me, and then does the friend follow? Yeah. Hey, let him go. He's just a friend. Uh, we, uh, you know. I'm like, where are you guys going? We asked the questions here. No, pal, pal, the pal, he, pal he, He's he's no bigger than Tinkerbell. <laughs> <laughs> we'll like, ask the questions here. I'm like, you um, answer my questions before are your friend's gonna. Have well, well, I'm a. This is my friend. Uh, you let go of Johnny. Johnny Brixel. I'll let go of Johnny as soon as you let us know. What Johnny we Brixel. His name's Johnny Brixel, and you're Johnny like Brixel? covering. You're covering Johnny Brixel's mouth. He's like, mm-hmm. my name's Johnny Brixel, not Johnny. <laughs> okay. Um, he, um, and he says. Allow me to introduce myself. Mine's my name is uh, Gregory uh, Ch- mm. F- Flake. <laughs> Johnny Brixel and Gregory Flake. Um, we are two uh, sea pixies. Let me ask you something. Why are you guys out here so far away from land? How far is the nearest landmass mm. that we can get to? Interesting question. Did you know that no one on land has ever seen a sea pixie? I don't. I. You're wrong because I'm looking at you now. So tell no me. No one on what? land. Is there someone more intelligent here that? <laughs> 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 no one on standing on land. I'm sorry. Let me let me repeat that. Uh, no one on land has ever seen it. We've seen we have, sea pixies are uh, uh, very uh, vibrant um, out in the open water out here, way out here. How did you guys get here? We swim. You swim. Where is the closest landmass? Uh, I'm not sure. I know that underneath us right now it's pretty deep, and in either direction it goes up. So perhaps that way okay i'm gonna take you with me just in case Mm, interesting um he's going to use detect thoughts um and he's going to read johnny is gonna do detect thoughts on mike and actually let's roll for that um one two three four chris you're one jake you're four uh he's gonna a mic and i can't do two mics can't do three mics and uh jake um and mike you're gonna roll me a uh wisdom i believe it's gonna be wisdom Where's his um Chris, where do I get his cell his spell? For the stat block? Yeah, for his um, oh here, innate spell casting. Pixie's yeah. innate spell casting ability is charisma. Um you need to roll me a 16. Uh wisdom? Yeah. No, an 18. I I don't even think I can get an 18. Yeah. Well, let's roll to that. He said, roll it. <laughs> 15. Um, okay, so 
you failed that. Um, and he's going to detect your thoughts. He's going to see that you are angry. Um, you can breathe fire. He's going to know that I'm hungry and I could eat these you things. Are hungry. Um, he's going to know that you came out of the water um, at the uh, teleportation device. Um, and then, Jake, you give me the same uh, charisma save as well. Charisma. Charisma would have been better than intelligence. Um, he's going to read your mind. And he and uh, Gregory's going to go, oh, my goodness, what loss. Uh, he's flashbacks of uh, Rena. You're going to play in your mind. Um, flashbacks from uh, adventures prior to this campaign are going to float through uh, Sprock's mind. Um, Sprock's uh, yearning to... Um, He's gonna say he's gonna say, why such yearning with you, Sprock, to figure out where why you are such a Dow. Wait, Dro? Dro is it? Dro. Oh, yeah. But Dro, oh. why why such yearning to figure out why you're such a Dro? Why don't you just leave that past to be gone? Get the fuck out of my Greg, Greg, Gregory's gonna say, I feel a great connection to you. Uh. Horrible. Drows are from the underdog. It doesn't look like you're going to get there very quickly. Um, and <laughs> uh, at least you'll you'll need to find the door of DeSantis, mm. wherever that is. And he looks over at Lone Star, and Lone Star, he's going to try to read your mind as well. I do the buddy Jesus finger point um the fuck is my save uh what'd you say wisdom save charisma uh yeah charisma <clears throat> it's a 17 14. um He's going to say, uh, Greg Greg is going to look at you, uh, and then he's going to look at Johnny, and he's going to say, Johnny, we need to leave. Johnny is going to try to – who's holding Johnny? I am. Uh, Johnny is going to uh, – try to convince you to let him go and this is what he's going to do he's going to go like hey 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 those hands of yours are very uncomfortable <clears throat> why don't we just exchange our greetings your hands are very calloused i understand johnny if you, you want to have... set up i'm going to put you in a bottle He's going to try to convince you to let him go with a deception check. Um, okay. What is your... I think this will be a deception That would be contested role. Yeah. Like your insight? Insight? So Aaron's okay. insight versus this guy's deception. Yeah. 14. Come on, baby. Ooh. 18 plus 23. So so uh Aaron, this I'm is what he's like, gonna uh, this is what he's gonna say to convince you. He's gonna say, hey, 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 friends, friends, <laughs> listen, listen. Your hands are very calloused, my skin's very smooth. Do you mind opening up your hands and letting me loose? This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Wash your hands. Jesus. <laughs> Wash your hands, Aaron. I'd be like, what the fuck? And I just, I would like look at my hands like, what's, what, what, what do you mean? My hands aren't dirty. Um, John, <laughs> Johnny floats up, um, makes eye contact mm. to uh, 
to to Gregory uh, Flake, and um, Gregory's going to say, uh, "Johnny, run!" And Johnny's going to jump um, back into the water. Um, and right before he, right before Greg Flake says, uh, uh, right before he jumps back in the water, Gregory Flake is going to say, "They found the key." Oh, you motherfucker! Tell King. Shh. All C right. C Pax. I'm gonna look at Lone Star. Tell, like, tell King C Pax that they found the key, Gregory. Does anyone have any way to make us move faster? Because we gotta get the fuck out of here. We cannot fight on water. So this one guy is still on the boat. Uh he's floating there. Wait a second. He's floating, floating next to it. He's just floating, he's floating a little bit away, but just he's jump like, on top of him. In the, uh, air, you, in the air, you can try to grab him. Uh, he's, he's five feet away from the boat. I'm gonna run and try and jump and grab him, and like hug him in midair. Uh, Gregory, because Johnny's already gone, but Gregory, yes, you can do that. Yeah. Um, I have to make a Dex save. It'll be contested against your Dex, I think, or, my, or your take, acrobatics. My athletics to yeah, jump. Athletic, athletics is fine. Uh, ooh, I got a 14. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got a 10. Nice. Um, you fall into the water. <laughs> um, and Gregory says, Up yours, Lone Star. Oh, no, he doesn't know your mind. Actually, he does because he read, um, uh, Jake's mind. Up yours, Lone Star. Uh, we'll we'll get to this uh this the 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 door of Desantius first, um and he jumps into the water and swims off. Um, roll me a d twenty, uh, Chris. A two. Mm. Nice. Okay. Um, when you fall when you fall into the water, uh, you see two sharks. That have been following you ever since um, you left. Roll me initiative. Everybody or just Chris? Um, I guess everyone. I got a 12. The two sharks. Got a seven. Four and a 19. I got 13. 15. Seven for Aranus. What'd you get, Mike? 15. And Jake? 13. Okay. Um, sharks are going to go first. Um, Chris, they're going, to, one of them is shark one is going to attack you okay. uh, with a. Giant shark. Let's see. Um, there's no. Are you bloody? No, right? No, I'm no, full no health. On you. Yeah. Okay. Um, does a 19 hit you? No, it does not. Wow. Um, do they have multiple attacks? No, that's it. Uh, it is now Sprock's turn. No, uh, Mike's turn. Uh, so we're just cruising and these sharks are running around? Uh, no, Chris fell off the boat and he rolled a shitty roll and there are two sharks in the water that are circling, that have been following from before. Um, and... Uh, I, will, I, will, I will scale the side of the boat and reach my arm down, holding on like a fucking... The rock, reaching out like this, just... Grab my hand! <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Yeah. Give, me a, give me a strength check. Rock took on a weird accent. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, well, I got a natty one, but I think I've got uh, advantage. I don't think so. I think I do. If you're raging. You're, he's not raging, though. Yeah. So then I got a nine? That doesn't seem fair. You fall off into the water. <laughs> a nine? <laughs> you got a natural one. But he, I mean, I had a lot of strength, though. I'm really yeah, strong. 
So you sl- it's it's not like a complete flop, but you sort of slide down. Take that chunk of the rail with you. <laughs> the boat broke. You didn't fall. Aaron Aaron thinks to himself, "Ah, oh, fuck! Now I have to repair that." Yeah, uh, Jake. Exactly. Jake, it's, <laughs> Jake, it's your turn. Hmm. I don't know. Are we? Are, yeah. I'm gonna heal. I need that. Yep, I'm taking that healing potion or healing word on myself. Oh, you're you're completely healed, Jake. You don't need to do that. You had a long rest. Oh, we had a long rest? Yeah, you had a long rest. Don't use that. You're you're, you're gonna need that, baby. Well, then I'm going to... Where is this guy? It's underwater. That'll be the last time that I He's underwater. remind people of things like that. So <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> Thank you, Spencer, for You're welcome. Still doing that one. <laughs> that won't work. That won't work. I've been oh, so close to feeding my worm another snack. Look at those... Uh, yes. What was all of that? Your oh, backstory? A bunch, of, a bunch of content. Can't wait. I'm backstory of uh, Keef. <laughs> I have uh, King King C packs. Can I see? The... Can I see it in the water? Yeah, you can see it in the water. Okay. Then I'm going to. Well, I mean, you can see like where the shark is. You can see about ten feet down, maybe five feet down. Like normal. I can't. I can see it like under the water, but I can't see. It's not on the surface of the water. No, there. Are, everything's happening on the surface of the water. I'm gonna pull out my wand. I'm gonna target that shark, and I'm gonna use the wand and see what happens. Nice. I like this. I like that. How close is this shark to me? <laughs> you. Uh, you guys are all within fighting distance of five feet from each other. Oh, there's okay. a there's a there's a twenty square that you guys are in. Okay. Okay. Well, it is a. I cast slow. Okay, creatures got casted slow. Which creature? The shark. Is it direct hit on the creature, or is it an area? Uh, well, I was targeting the creature, so how can I click on slow? Let me see. Um, I alter time up to around six creatures of my choice, so it's only the enemies in a forty-foot cube. Each target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, or be affected. Oh, if you alter wow. time around six creatures of your choice in a 40 foot cube. Okay, so you get to choose. You get to choose that. Okay. Yeah. Um, wisdom saving throw for a fucking shark. Okay. <laughs> 15. Uh, the one got a five. The other, the other one also got a five. Well, then they did not. They are affected. Okay. The effect target, target speed is halved. halved. Okay. And a minus two penalty to AC and dexterity saving throws. Okay. You can't reuse reactions on his turn. You can either use that. Yeah. All right. Great. I cast it slow. So does it have disadvantage on attacks? Is what I want to know. Uh, on its turn, it can either attack, it can either an action or a bonus action, but not both. Okay. Regardless of the creature's abilities or magic items, it can't make more than one melee or ranged attack during its turn. Okay. Uh, if it attempts to cast a spell. It's not going to. Um, a creature affected by the spell makes another wisdom saving throw at the end of each of its turns. On a successful save, the effect ends. Okay. Um, all right. It's uh, Shark 2's turn. Does No, actually, it's Aaron's turn. Nine. Finally. Yeah, yeah baby. Um, wait, so what... Uh... 
Oh shit, I keep trying to move this fucking shared screen. Um, <laughs> all right, so fucking Lone Star is in the water. Fucking like all these people are still. Sharks. Uh, sharks. And uh, you're, are... you're the, you and Sprock are the only people on, on boat, and the other ones are getting, uh, are in the water getting attacked by sharks. Uh, fucking dumbasses. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna. Not by their choosing. Mother. It was. It was the. It was the dice that. Uh, that that's <laughs> the dice decided. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. I'm gonna. How many sharks are there? Three. There are two. Two. two? All right. I'm gonna um use magic missile. Um and shoot. Um. Three darts at the two sharks, and I'll I'll send two darts towards uh the shark that's. Uh, attacking Lone Star. I okay. See you. Um. So two damage to so four damage to the shark in front of Lone Star, and then two damage to the other shark. Okay. Uh, four damage to the to the one at, at Lone Star, which is Shark One. Yeah. And then how much to the other one? Uh, two damage. Mm. Oh shit! That is not a lot. Okay. Uh, shark one is going to go right back at it and attack Lone Star with a with an attack of uh twenty three. That will hit. Ooh, three D ten plus six. That's tough. That's a three plus a four plus a one. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, seven, uh, 13. 13? 13 damage. I'm going to use my reaction to smack him with my shield 15 feet away. Wow. All right, Shark, uh, does he take damage? No, he just moves 15 feet away from me. Okay. And then at the end of his turn. And then it's Mike's turn. You guys are on the side of the boat, by the way. Did I get a turn? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was your initiative? I don't remember. Uh, you're you go now. Uh, thirteen is initiative. So that's I would okay. punch. You're gonna go. You're gonna go. You're gonna go now anyway. All right. So I'll punch the last shark that's there. Mm -hmm. Um. Shark two. His name is. Does a thirteen hit? Or an um, 11. No, an eleven does not hit. Okay. Uh, a twenty-six will hit. Yes. For uh, eight thunder damage, and it has disadvantage on attacks against anyone else but me. Okay. I'll I'll grab the side of the boat and yell uh, to. I forget what your name is. Tevrit. Tevrit. Thanks for the aid. And let's get back up on this boat and after we kill these things. And I'll reach out. Oh no, I already used my action. That's my turn. I'm gonna give him a fucking <laughs> I'm gonna have a bird take that away from you. Um, <laughs> Mike, it's your turn. No, uh I'm sorry. I keep writing Aaron for some reason. Um, Mike, it's your turn. Mm. Lone Star. Um, remove bag. Are these are these sharks like, or one shark? One right is there? fifteen feet. One is fifteen feet away, and the other one is attacking. Um, uh, is is within five feet of you. Fuck it. All right, we're going ham. We're gonna do a double double attack on this shark. In the water. Okay, you have. You guys are gonna start to have and i've been meaning to do this um uh disadvantage on attacks in water unless you have some sort of reason to have advantage on that uh i'm athletic as fuck uh okay so go ahead but i mean uh, if you're if you're berserk that's one thing so just describe what you're going to do well i'm not i'm not i'm not berserk 
Uh, I'm just going to use my normal attack, which is a double attack. Okay. And I will attack for 25 with which, hit. With which weapon are you attacking him with? I'm attacking with my battle axe. Which one? I I only equipped my one. Is it the strong one? Uh, they're both quite strong, but yes, it's my magic battle axe that's attuned. Okay. So if it's attuned to you, you know what I know. I, okay. Nothing right now. Okay, go ahead. So I got a 25, that hits, and then I got a 19. Does that hit? Yes, that hits. Fuck. Uh, so I will do 8 plus 7. Wow, that's it, that's for one or for both? That's total for 15 damage. 15 damage? Okay. Uh, and then I will, so that was my double attack, and then I will use my movement to try to climb back up the boat. Okay. Um, give me a strength check. I should be able to pass this one. Do you have a character on here? Yeah, you, you do, right? That's a natty 20. Oh, you fucking, you gracefully climb up with such tact that the frost everglade staff hardens just just perfectly that if you wanted to sell this ship you'll know <laughs> that is something worth mentioning to a buyer no. what was it called if you're not listening then I can't help I you couldn't that. follow it there's no, cough it. people are coughing in the background smoking weed ever no one cares oh um, yeah that was the the for, <laughs> the Everglades. Forest, forest Everglade sap Ever Everglade Forest Sap. Yeah. That was what created I was asking from about the earlier. Dragon underneath the forest, bubbling up and heating up the forest, creating Yes, sap. I remember that, which is why I tried to ask our, our fellow companion on where it is, because that sounds like it's uh, right up my alley. Well, Aaron's fucking hands smelt like fucking, you know, uh, chummed water, and Johnny Brixel wanted to get out, you know? All right. Uh, it's sorry about that guy. Go. I, I, he was really convincing. <laughs> Johnny Brixel, baby. Um, that's like a that's its own video game. Johnny Brixel. Uh, uh, Jake, it's your turn. So who's on board? So Lone Star's the only one off off board. Jake, yep. you're on board. I'm still on board. Shark is slow as fuck. Yeah. I think I can maybe maybe even I can hit it with something from on board. And I suck at like throwing the being physically aggressive. Let's see. You got spells. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you got a rock. I just throw a rock in. Got a magic stone. Yeah. Oh, let's let's have a blue rocks. key that's growing and glowing. I don't know what that does. Find out some door that will be glowing. Where are you keeping that key, by the way? In my uh, backpack. Okay. In my anus. <laughs> In my well, anus. if it was around your neck, I was going to be like, Gregory Flake, grab it. Huh. Uh, Next time. I'm going to do thunder wave at these at the shark. Really? Let's see what happens. Two D eight. Constitution sixteen. Saving throw. Is that hit the eight? giant shark? That's an eight. Uh I believe that hits um Lone Star too. Oh yeah, that's not good. So I got an eleven. The fifteen foot cube. Yep, that hits him. He's, he's too close. Oh, yeah, uh, wait a minute. We're yes. right next. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. You guys are right next to the shark too. Fine. Gonna make a big wave. Yeah. Uh, what did he get? What did the shark get? He failed. Great. 
He takes What's the 11 thunder damage. Nice. Um, shark looks completely fine. Uh, and he's automatically pushed 10 feet away. And I am as well. And everyone, and so you're you're now five feet away from shark one. <laughs> yep. And uh, every everyone within three hundred feet, which is going to be no one. A nine, that was a nine, by the way. Um, heard that, but thunder thunder booms are audible. Yep. Um, so Chris, you are pushed further <laughs> towards uh, the two sharks. Um, Jake, your turn is over, I think. Yeah. Um, good, good turn. <laughs> Aaron, 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 it's your turn. <laughs> Jake, I'm gonna check out your. Uh, your all right, your I'm gonna uh, yeah, pull out my bow and I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the shark that's um, close to Lone Star. The uh, so shark one, you're gonna shoot. Yeah. Um, 19? Um, that hits. Boom. Uh, seven damage, and then, um, sneak attack since he's, uh, right up on Lonesaur's face. Nice. Uh, 15. Wow, okay. They both look completely fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, okay, so because now um, uh, Chris, do you have all your hit points? No, I do not. All right, we have advantage Bloody. now on melee attacks. So, uh, sorry, buddy. Um, that's okay. 17. I'll just roll the other one just in case. That is a that hits you. That's a twenty six. Yep. Uh, three D ten plus six coming your way. That's a four. That's a ten. Fourteen. That's a a three. That's a seventeen plus six. That's um. What is that? <laughs> Twenty three piercing damage. Do you okay. have uh armor? Yeah, I'm wearing armor. All right, good. It's 23, you said? 23. 26. 26. <laughs> okay. No, no, you're right. No, no, it's 23. It's 23. Yep. Okay. I'm bloody. Yeah, baby. Um, It's your turn, I guess, Lone Star. Okay. So I am fucked up. Uh, moment. Oh, wait, other shark. That was the first, that was the second shark that just went. Okay. Other shark goes now. Okay. Um, other shark is slow, but he's within range. He swims 50 feet, so he's 25 feet. That's within range. He's going to yeah. attack you with advantage. Okay. Um, does a the 17 hit you? No. Oh, no. That's advantage. Though. Oh, fuck. Does an 18 hit you? No, it does not. Ah, could have killed you right there. You could have. I was close. Wish you had those wings, don't you? We'll see. Um, It's my turn now. Yeah, you guys are, by the way, all of you are watching Lone Star just fucking get eaten alive by sharks. Yeah, it's fantastic. I jumped down there with him. And then you climbed back up. Yeah, so I can get up and then reach my arm down again. You're like, you're like am I going to rage? You know what? I'm not going to rage. I'm going to climb back up. Uh, yeah, Lone Star. <laughs> what you, what you... <laughs> um, I'm attacking from the ship. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Yeah. What? Bro, well, first guys... bonus bonus action, I'm gonna give myself seven temp HP. Ooh, nice. Gonna do that. Um, I gotta find that thing to mark it off. The ship also has Good. weapons. 
Um, Mike, give me a okay. before you. Go, there's uh, a team. There's uh, big boulders at the bottom of our ship. And also harpoon things. And you, and you say both sharks looks like perfectly healthy. Um, they look decent. So like stout. Yeah. How, like, how do these compare to the other sharks we fought? You look horrible in comparison to them. No, how do they, what do they look like? Are they like the same size, like some more sharks? They are giant sharks. But we've they killed a bunch of them. Massive, yes. But you also had Drake and, uh, you know, people raging. Okay. Okay. You also had Sprock um, disguised as a shark. Okay. Let me just read one spell description because I was not expecting to be eaten by sharks. Like how this one, this this shark encounter derails the entire story. <laughs> uh, we had such a good headway. Okay, so I am going to hold on to my crown and cast incite greed on these sharks. Yeah. Okay. I hold out a gem. Wait, do you have my... to be attuned? Do you have to be attuned to the crown? I am attuned to the crown. Okay. And the necklace thing? But, yeah, I can be attuned to three different things. That's okay. how I that's that's what I use for um Brock was the okay. crown. Very good. Okay. So I'm gonna hold out a gem and use three charges of the, the crown. They need to make a wisdom saving throw. DC Both sharks. 16. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, Nat 20 on shark one. Um, the other one got a two. Okay, so the other one is charmed uh, and can do nothing but use its movement to approach me in a safe manner <laughs> um, until someone does something harmful to it. Natural At the end of its turn, an affected creature can make a wisdom saving throw to, to break it. Natural 20. I'm going to give this uh, guy um, bonus damage on his next attack for the nat 20. Okay. Let's, so that's uh, my turn. Well, yeah, what's that called? Character initiative or something? Character insight or something? Um, Jake, as a, as a DM, you want to create character anxiety. Uh, Chris, are you anxious right now? Um, Jake, it's your turn. No, Mike, it's your turn. Where's give my, me, where's my Mike, buddy? Give me, Mike, give me a perception check real quick before you do anything. Four, 13. There is a ballista sitting right next to you with a uh, a harpoon um, sitting right next to it. Huh. This whole time, huh? Well, you never looked. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have tripped over it. Um... Okay. I told you guys, you guys have items to shoot and stuff. True. Um, okay, well, is Lone Star still in the water? Lone Star is in the water. Yes. And he's right He's right next to uh, Shark 1, who is not affected by his thing. Shark 2 is sort of out of it, swimming kind of pr almost prone. Almost prone. And very slow prone because he's slowed. Is this... Uh... Can I can I use this harpoon as a lifting? Yeah, I will I will let you walk over there as a bonus action if you want to shoot it. I can't, well no, I'm gonna try to save my teammate. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna if I could lower the harpoon down and just pull him up, I would do that. But uh if it's locked in the throw him, do you want to throw him the something? Is there is there a rope close by? Is there something? I think that... you have a rope in your travel pack. I didn't even know I had a travel pack. You do. You have a. Uh, you have a rope. Just put it that way. All right. Well, I will lower said rope down and say, "Come with me." He's Little fifteen. Baby. He's fifteen feet away from the boat. I will take my rope and I will go like a like a rat. All right, give me um, give 
give me a dex. Uh, no. Give me a... I guess it's going to be a sleight of hand to get it over there. Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, it's even worse. It's, I'm sorry, dude. What'd you it's get? not your time. I got a natty one. This rope lands on Shark 2 and <laughs> hits him for... Um, Chris, roll me a d4. Uh, one. This shark two gets hit for one uh, bludgeoning damage from this dried rope. From does this... it does it lasso him? No, it no. breaks out of his. Uh, he charm. breaks out of his charm. Oh, wait, does he have to roll for it? I hope so. I just hope so. <laughs> I don't want you to die here, but it's no. coming. It Maybe. might be it. Um. I'm not gonna lie, this armor that you gave me is gonna get you killed. <laughs> it's giving all my roll. I don't know why you have our Drake was always dick out. No armor. Nope. I, it ends immediately once something is done harmful to it. Nice. Wow. Fucking bad. Um all right, Mike. Um so you threw that. Would you like to move? Um so that was my action to throw it. Mm-hmm. My movement or my um there's two there's two sharks right there. Yeah. Lone You're Star's, having all the fun. Lone I will, Star is bleeding out over there. I will I will use my movement and my bonus action to jump back into the water. Are you gonna um are you going to I will I will in. lasso I will lasso the rope against the side and jump in. Are you going to tie the rope against the side? All right, so you're going to tie the rope again, guys. What did we do for the uh, the rope? By the way, I I think survival check. Yeah, give me a survival check on the rope tie. By the way, fifteen. Okay, you, it's snug. Um, and you jump in. And I'll jump in and say, "Pull are me you, when I get to him." Are you bare chested, or are you? Did you throw your armor to the side? I definitely don't want this armor anymore. But I didn't say anything. Okay. Um, I will let you. I will uh, remove it if you'd like to rage right now. I'll let you rage right now if if that's what you want. You want you want to rage a little? You want to rage a little? Want to rage? You want a little bump? All right, let's just let's go into let's let's rage. Okay, um, that will be the last time that I help uh, Mike play his character. That's up to you. I don't know guys. if that's a good idea, to be honest. For the record. Okay, then don't rage. Well, I'm. It's too late now. But... <laughs> <All right. laughs> he, Spencer's just trying to get me to do some stupid shit, which I know. Oh, no, he's not. No, well. He's not. It's not All right, Mike. Mike jumps in, uh, raging. Um, it's now going to be a roll of the dice as to who he, who the sharks target on their next attack, because he's in the middle of them. Um, actually, Shark One is going to be attacking Lone Star, but Shark Two most likely will be attacking Mike. Jake, you're up. It's your turn. Did Can he do anything with that harpoon? Uh, no, nothing. Zero. I'm going to take that harpoon, and okay. I'm going to shoot the shark with it. Okay. Um, the harpoon has an attack of six plus, a range one twenty to four hundred eighty feet. Damn! Nail the shark. This is raging one. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm aiming for. Raging shark. Spencer. Uh, what? What are you? Roll me a d20 and add six to it. And hope it's above a 15. It's not. Oh. No, 13. 13. It's not. Ooh, what was it? It was a one. (laughs) You got a natural one? (laughs) I got a natural one. Oh, my God. All right. Plus Uh, six. 
to live. You slip and don't know how to use this thing, and you're gonna hit um Grace. Oh, this God. is gonna be a roll, a roll of rolls here. Uh even is Drake and odd is Lone Star. Drake? It's a I'm sorry. I am gonna Drake call pops I'm up. Gonna, yeah, Drake props up. Uh, it's a two. It's a two, by the way. So, um, Mike, you're gonna get hit with three d ten piercing damage. Um, Good thing you're raging. Go ahead and roll damage for that, uh, Jake. To ha- take half damage from that piercing. What am I rolling? What? How you you dice? you sneezed uh, while you're shooting. Yeah. Um, what is, What am I rolling to for damage? Three three d ten. 3d10. Doesn't say anything about half damage. Wait yeah, you have a you have a resistance to bludgeoning and, and 22 damage. Uh, 22 Mike. damage. 22. So you take 11. Half. You take 11 damage. Yeah. Um. Great turn, Jake. Again, uh, as always. Uh, Aaron, is, you're up here. All right, let's do it. Uh, I, uh, the harpoon. Jake, I love your turns. You're like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I mean, is this, is this shark still fucking up Lone Star? I'm going yeah. to shoot this fucking shark. raging about to kill Lone Star. I am, Lone, Star's I am a, Lone Star is trying to not so drown funny. in his own blood over there. All right, well, I am going to shoot the shark. I mean, I can't do anything else, buddy. I, I don't know what you need me to do. Go, go, go. Do it. 28. That hits. Give it to me. Uh, nine damage. And I'm going to sneak attack him because he's, he's a little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 21. That's 30 damage total, baby. Jesus. Shark is looking all right. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> not even half all right. Just all right. Shark, great. Giant sharks are not to fuck around with. I'm telling you, you guys need Drake in this situation. Um, how funny is it going to be? It's like, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this canoe. Um, it's now uh, Shark Two. Shark Two is right next to um, to fucking what's his name? Tra- Travis Travert Tra- Tra- Everett. Tra- Tevret Everett Tevret. Thank you. And he's going, and because there's blood in the water, he's going to have advantage on his attacks. That's a two plus. That definitely does not hit. And uh, does an eleven hit you? No. And oh god, three. Yeah, Chris, those were the rolls you needed. Uh, I know. I know. A twelve. A twelve. Does a twelve hit you? No. Okay. Uh, shark is going to sit tight um, now. Uh, Chris. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Uh, oof. Does a 22 hit you? Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, D10. 3D10. That's a fucking one. So you're lucky there. That's a minimum of seven. Another one. I'm not in that fucking line here. Look at this. Another one. Where's that? Another one. That's a minimum of eight. This could be your. This is roll. Here, let's roll it here. I have 11 HP. Seven. So I'm out. One, 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 seven. So nine? Yeah. So. One one seven six. Oh. <laughs> you have ten. So your seven, your seven is temp HP. It's gone. Yeah. You have six, so you're down. So you're you got. So one, how much total? How much total damage? Uh. 15? Hold on. You got seven plus six. That's fifteen. Thirteen. Yeah. I'm down. You're down, or you you're prone. I'm I'm unconscious. Okay. Um, you guys see the shark bite a chunk, a big chunk, and then let loose. Um, uh, he is prone. He's floating, not breathing. Uh, roll me a d 
Uh, roll me a roll me a d4. Let's see, even evens your upright. Uh, um, a four. You're upright, um, so you don't have to worry about breathing uh, at the moment. Um, Lone Star, it's your turn. Death save. An eight, one fail. Um, Mike. Um. All right, I will. Uh... Hmm. There's still two sharks here. Mike, you need to get in there and attack or die or something. Or try to save my teammate again. Yeah. You are within a, a 20, the sharks, the sharks and you are within a 20 foot radius of the ship. You are essentially in a square grid like this. And there's Lone Star, Shark, you, Shark. This shark is attacking Lone Star. This shark is attacking you. And the boat's over here. And the boat is right here. The boat is on, we're in between the boat and the sharks. Yeah. I will, I will grab my, my partner. I will hold on to him, attach to this rope, and I will swim towards the boat, dragging him with me. All right. Give me, um, you're within, within distance. Give me a strength check. You're going to try, and what are you going to do? You're, you have distance and you have movement. So you're going to try to, you're actually, you're, what are you guys, 15 feet out? So. And I'm also raged. Mm, yes, I'm going to take that into consideration. Bonus action, your strength test, I can, I get advantage. That's very helpful. Oh my God, no, it's not. Well, give me a strength check first. Uh, a 10. That's fine. You're raged, right? I am raged. Okay. Um, all right. You are you going to cover Lone Star? Or are you going to? I'm going to grab him and try to swim to the boat as fast as possible. I cannot. What I'm going to do for you um, is this shark is going to take his opportunity attack on you instead of Lone Star. Okay. And that is an advantage. That's a they 19 both... and a 9. They both, they both... get opportunity attacks. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, so one that... would be on me. No, they're both going to be on, on Drake. Drake's, no. Uh, Everett. The, opp... the one opportunity attack is on Drake. And then Drake Everett. is going to, Drake is disengaging from his shark. That's his the opportunity attack from his shark. And then he's going to use his rage and momentum to grab you. You're not from helping. The other shark. You're not helping. <laughs> well, good thing I'm attached to this rope, and we got two other guys in the boat that are going to pull us. Lucky for you, Chris, the opportunity attack on you was a two and a twelve. So, oh no, sorry, uh, a fifteen and a five. And uh, Tevrit, you got a 19 coming your way. Does that hit you? It does. Okay. So Tevrit is going to take some fucking damage. I love this shit. Well, you, don't want, you don't want Lone Star dying right now? He might. Um, you would have if he got a hit. Question. I know. That's, I shouldn't have said anything. Um, that's a 7 plus a that's a 13 and then ooh that's a 19 plus a 6 20 25 damage piercing but you take half that rounded down so third or rounded up 13 uh damage to you sir piercing okay um that's your turn. What are you? And so you? No, jumped I in. only used. I only used. Yeah, you jumped in. You jumped in. No, I was already in the water with him. Right, and you you disengaged. You came over and sheltered Lone Star from his disengaged I, motion. I grabbed him because I was next to him. Yeah. I pulled him in. I used the movement to swim to the boat. You're saying There's I can't? No, no, and you. But I will allow you to signal to people that you're ready for them to pull you in. Let's see what happens. Over here! Fuck that. <laughs> well, you did yank Lone Star out of the mouth of two sharks. Yes. 
It's pretty good. Uh, Jake, do you witness this? Or are you going to um, take your? Are you going to have a beer? Or like I don't know. Am I recovering from slipping with my fucking harpoon? I don't know. You're, you've been having some pretty bad rolls here. It's, the harpoon didn't even fire. No, no, it, no, it, it did. It hit. Um, it hit. Right. Help us! We're right here. Pull the rope. Just fucking right. jump in and use the cube gate. Just fucking just. <laughs> I'll pull. I'll pull the rope. <laughs> You guys land in a different reality on land, and like the sharks just sit there and just suffocate to death. Who's the I'll pull the rope and, and start to help him back up the the pull pull the rope and and tie it off so that he can get his ass back up. All right, give me a uh, group strength check. Uh, Aaron, are you going to help with this? Yeah, I'll help. Okay, give me a group strength check. Low check. Twenty three. Nine. Uh, that averages out to just fine. Um, so you pull and pull. Um, Aaron has got an 18. That's just enough. Um, the sharks try to swim up to you guys. Uh, Lone Star, you don't have a, a pull. A, uh, you don't have a, you have nothing. Um, well, Lone the, Star. is a negative 40 yeah. some pound <laughs> deficit. Uh, or he's dangling below. Lone Star uh, is fucked up and prone. Um, you, ha- you pull him up to the side. Um, as you're pulling him up the side, uh, Shark 2 is going to take one more nip at uh, Mike, and he's going to hit him uh, with a 16. Um, that's a 9. Plus uh, 12, that's uh, another 9, that's, that's 21 plus 6, 27 damage, uh, piercing divided by 2. Mike, that'll be, uh, I guess, 14. Yeah. Piercing to you. Um, and you pull your friend out of the water. Bitch. Lesson to be learned here, gentlemen. Do not fall in the water. And also, don't fuck with the pixies. Um, who's what's going to happen here? Uh, you, Chris, you got to give me another death save. I think yep. because your friends are just staring at you. That's an eighteen. One success. That's a pass. Don't you wish that there was a healer, a medicine guy on the boat? Uh huh. Weird. Um. That's a three. It's a failure. Oh, you. Who's gonna? Um, does anyone have anything for? You got. You see your friend just uh, yeah. bleeding out here. Yeah, I'll heal him. What are you gonna use to heal him? Healing word. Excellent. One d four plus my spell casting ability modifier. That was almost a natural one on that last roll. I feel like the the world wants you to almost to live your life oh. almost dying, Chris. I've I've literally played three three games with you now. We almost been one day. Yeah, we uh we we missed we missed my action. I was in no. rage. I could have uh, I could have attacked if there was somebody close by. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. true. Go ahead. Chris, you get five. Uh unfortunately, gentlemen, I am uh I am cursed. And at random I get to pick who I attack. Uh so Chris will be one. Wait, did wait, Chris. no, 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 no. You have to, you Chris, have to use did your you action. get your did you get no, your uh, healing? Well, I think this would be Wait, before that healing comes in. Let's it would be when yeah. when I got when I got that last that last bite. I still had my my action to attack. I thought we used your actions to 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 shelter Chris. No, to climb. Now he was uh, climbing up the, the creature. 
Oh, actually, I need a DC 15 wisdom save. Yeah, whenever a hostile creature damages you while the axe is in your possession, you must succeed a DC wisdom saving throw or go berserk. While berserk, you must use your action each round to attack the creature nearest to you with the axe. If you make an extra attack, uh, you must use it on allies, blah, blah, blah. If you have multiple possible targets, you take uh, one at random. You are berserk until you start your turn with no creatures within 60 feet of you that you can see or hear. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I, yeah. I think yeah, you have to do it. That's roll that's the wisdom correct. save. Uh, wisdom save. Come on. Oh, 16. 16. <laughs> the gods are good. <laughs> How much healing was that? Five? For yeah, you? 16. No, 13. Yeah. Or, uh, 17. I'm, uh, Mike, this is what's coming to you. 17 uh, 17 for christmas 17 you you feel so much better when you when, like when you're rolling for chris's life in your hands <laughs> like this well, so i i would have rolled for that but then i also would have rolled because my teammates were close by so i there was a chance i could have attacked one of them no 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 jump sliding down off the boat and not raging and then climbing back in that was a good move anyway so um that was a joke by the way <laughs> uh it was a horrible Ooh. horrible uh chris that was good wow all right so you guys are on this boat and oh yeah the entire time um uh, uh strike uh the entire time strike was sitting there smoking his his tobacco just watching aaron has did about three damage that was quite helpful i cannot wait to get on hero force and make strike um <laughs> All right, uh, Strike is gonna pass you, uh, Chris. Uh, he's gonna come over to you and say, "Captain, I thought we almost lost you there." And he's gonna take his uh, smoking uh, pipe and, and pass it to you. I'll, I'll hold it. And it's like there's. I was never in a doubt that I was gonna die there. I have complete complete faith in all of my friends here. I'll take a big swig of the pipe. Faith, uh, what? Uh... What sort of faith do you believe in, sir? I believe in myself. Mm. Palos. Interesting. You should uh, talk to some of my friends, Brock and the in Brockville. They'll tell you all about them. This Brockla Hall you have, it's... We fixed them up with this new recipe. It's even better now. You have to go right to the source and taste it. Hmm. Makes sense. Uh, where are we off to now, gentlemen? That was that was weird. West. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> um, give me a. Who is the? Uh, are you back at the stern, Chris? Yeah. Did you get to do a direction? I think I, that was Jacobs. Um, okay, give me a D8. A three. Seven, All right, um, three. And also, uh, sorry for that random detour. <laughs> yeah, right. And also roll me. Actually, it was perfect. Just wanna uh, roll me a d4. A one. Okay. Uh, high winds pick up, and it's pushing you to the north. but you guys want to head west, so you're going to have to maneuver that on your boat. Um, at the same time, um, it is going to be, roll me a, uh, a D100. Who's, who's the um, first, uh, no, quartermaster. Roll me a D100.
69. 69, summer, weather, uh, clear skies. So clear skies, high wind, north, um, and as you guys are sailing, another another day uh, goes, not another day, but a half, about a half day. It's nighttime now. Um, you guys are pushing on, and in the distance, you can see that there's some sort of land uh, coming up. Um, some sort of beach uh, is coming up, and you can see in the distance, uh, Jake, give me a perception check since you're the, you're the, the dude. Twenty-four. Um, you can see a shipwreck of sorts. Um, on that on that particular beach that you're coming to, there's a ship that seems to be. Uh, whoop, I guess that just went flying away. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's what you see. Okay. Um, let's see. You see a shipwreck, and it is high seas. So you are sailing um, towards this uh, shore, and this shore has a shipwreck on it. Um, as and you can see who has uh the vision does anyone have a vision nothing a vision uh, no can you see for how far can you see i have 120 in dark vision yeah i am an um, owl yeah um but i don't have the uh advanced thing that the birds have um okay uh, ship is is slowly moving forward. Now you guys are going to have to um, command the ship if you want to go in that direction or go somewhere else. So the wind is blowing you north. So the wind is trying to blow you in this direction where the white thing is, and you want to go in the red direction. I'm going to try to make that again. The red direction. So, and how fast you, is the wind? The wind is howling winds. Um, high winds, turbulent gusts sweeps across the sea. Um, select the wind direction. Uh, flying creatures gain some movement into the wind, and uh, you you get a a negative speed against the wind um, and range attacks. But uh, we are going to do a sailing. Um, there are rocks coming up, which is what my perception, um, as you get closer, your general perception is there are two rocks coming up in your, in your direction. There is a shipwreck. There is one um, right here. Oh, boy. Question. Did yes. you say there were oars in the bottom of the ship? Like little yes. seats and oar rowing holes? Yes. I, uh, Lone Star will tell everyone the only the easiest way to get through this wind is to row through it. We'll pull up the sails, reef the sails. You guys get down there and start to row, and I'll telepathically tell you the directions of how to row to steer through this. Let's do it. I'm good for a row. All right, we go downstairs and we start rowing. Um, I'll I'll have Aranis use his mage hand to pull all the sails down. All right, so uh, what I'm going to need I'm everyone sails, to Captain, is to roll me. Uh, we'll make it easy. Um, you guys are going to try to navigate um, this. The wind is still going to be pushing you heavy uh, up to the left. So Lone Star is going to try and direct the uh the route of the boat to the right of that right rock thinking the wind will push us into the gap okay 
So you're going to go to the, to the left over there. All right. So the way this is going to work is. Um, and then once C we're. Officer. Yeah. Um, well, you guys say. So first mate. First mate. Right. You have to do some charisma to get the. You guys are rowing. You guys are rowing. It's not about. <laughs> it's not about your, your uh, salesmanship anymore. It's about rowing. How are you going to motivate Aaron and and Jake and Chris to row in the correct uh, manner and Both unison and perfection? They're, they're they're pretty weak. So I could probably row for both of them combined. I go on the left side. They go on the right side. Are you going to try to, how are you going to try to encourage them to row? Are you going to give some sort of speech that you'd like to? If we don't row, we all die. He said he was going to tele telepathically tell us like when to row in. Well, yeah, it's like who to slow down, to, who to row right. fast. Right, yeah. but I want to know how much to add on to the row to, to this role from the first mate. The first mate is the specialist that keeps the crew's morale up by providing close supervision, encouragement, and discipline. A first mate benefits from a high charisma score and intimidation. Mike. I'm going to say, if we don't row right, we will all die. So I'm going to go with fear. Do not fuck this up. All right. Intimidation. Find roll you on. in the afterlife. Intimidation rolls for everyone. Um, Mike, roll your intimidation. Uh, everyone has the intimidation roll. See if his persuasion works on you. 22. Sprock got a 22. Mike, what'd you get? I got a 22. No, he got a 22. I'm t I'm rolling a save or a regular. You're just rolling a uh, check. Then it's I a, a nine. Aaron is just like, oh boy, better fucking better, 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 <laughs> better go, better go. Um, what'd you do, uh, Jake? Four. Oh yeah, even more so. You're like, yeah, you're right, Aaron. This guy's Aaron. Is, this guy's crazy. And uh, Lone Star. Lone Star is up, up on the top deck steering. Uh, steering. Um, and. Uh, but he got a three and he's like, damn, I'm glad I'm up here. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And um, Mike, give me a strength check to make sure that you can do a uh, uh, two man's job. Uh, that's a 24. Okay. So you, the, the rowing is fine. Now the steering. Um, give me a disadvantage steer for the first um, turn. Okay. And that you can do with Actually, it'll be a, a straight uh, because you have um, water vehicle proficiency. Yes. Okay. But which one should that be? That'll be. Uh, I guess it's going to be hi history. Should we do history? Because you, you sort of know your shit around it. Or should it. Of like my history of how to. Like yeah, how to, how to how to how to how to yeah how to do how it to navigate through yeah i'll take that okay i don't yeah. think i'm proficient in history <laughs> no but i still got decent on it so yeah okay what was it Ooh. so i am also going to use my reaction to use flash of genius to give myself a plus five to this okay so um, where's the ability? Here it is. Uh, plus five to an ability check or saving throw. It's an ability check. Um, so it's a 29. Okay. So I want you to watch this. I'm just going to do this naturally. So as you guys are rowing and this is, this worked perfectly for you guys. Um, as you guys are rowing, the ship turns gracefully oh, over so. here <laughs> and then comes over here and ports <laughs> um such a good, such a good, i gotta say 
such a good so um i'm so happy we have that on film now too <laughs> so you guys uh make it over um it is still deep uh the beach sort of rises out of the water um you have an anchor there if you'd like to anchor um and or does someone want to stay on board i'll, I'll yell i'll stop or I'll tell pathway tell them i'll stop and run over and drop the anchor myself okay um say like, well done well done all i'll pull out you, uh, something from my bag for each of them and i'll give you a little bit of a uh cliffhanger for the next time um you see, everyone roll me a d20 roll a d20 yeah oh i get the roll first uh 16 like, Ernest, you get some random person's left hand. Spencer can decide who that is. Amazing. I got a two. You, I, I hand you a dagger. Handle first. Strike out of 15. I I pull out this long great sword and hand him a great sword. That's what I'm talking about. Elves I got a four. That. Would you get a four? Yeah. I hand you a bottle of wine. Woo! Thank okay. you, sir. Um, and just as he says, uh, thank you for the great sword, um, he looks over and says, oh, there are people over there. Um, and you turn around and Jake, give me your perception check since you're the most perceptive. Twenty-three. Um, there's a great shipwreck, massive shipwreck um, down down the beach from you. Um, and you see some sort of people running towards you, and the people don't seem to be, from your perspective, sailors. They seem to be indigenous, and that's where we'll leave it. Okay. So you guys got to through. Wow. You guys got through three. Let's see B three. Where the fuck is that? B three. All right. Check that shit off, baby. You got. Oh, that was intense. You got S five, E three, and B three. There's so many more to go. Congratulations. Cool. Oh. Good job. Um. I will send Chris. I'm going to send you. What do I need? Hold on. I have homework I have to do. I got to send you guys. Chris, I need you to give you the. Do we get XP? XP? Yes, you do. Um, and then the group group XP will do right now. I have to send you guys the ship stats. And then. Um, I'm going to send you weather conditions. Because I feel like I don't need to be the only one with the rules as well. All right. Uh, yeah, XP is going to be what you guys do exactly here. I almost uh, died to two sharks. All right. So, I mean, I basically fuck shit up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jake sort of booby trapped everyone. Um, let's see. Brute. Uh, I don't think there's that much XP, but just in case. What did we do? Oh, the pixies? They got oh, away. Pixies, pixies got away. Oh, we killed um, we killed two brutes. You got yeah, what two about? brutes. Um we we fucked up a shark. You got nine hundred from the brutes. And I'm gonna give you eighteen hundred <laughs> to combine the two from those. And this will be the last time I do um, extra XP because I'd, I'd rather have it. All right, hold on. So how many each? Five, so six, six, seven, eight, nine, 